Okay, we're here. Uh, welcome to the Killstream, gentlemen. Mr. Mediker, welcome back. It's been about nine months since you've been on the show. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you doing? Ethan Ralph, me, Mediker. I love Israel and the Jews. I believe in the Holocaust. Put it in my hey. rear clear. I love the gunt. I love your gunt. The saddest part is the Holocaust. Queer, queer, little yes. queer. Please put it in my rear. I love queers and homosexuals. Yes. Oh, shit. Crazy confession. We come from Mediker. I'm, I'm, I'm in trouble. So I knew that was going to happen. I'm glad you went ahead and did it right at the beginning. <laughs> I already knew that was going to happen. Yes, Dame Pesos is here as well, in case you couldn't tell. Uh, and Dick Masterson, Gator's here too. Uh, Flamico's in there. Rambot's in there. I still got to pull him in here in a minute. Um, Dick, what's why- up, man? Yeah, what's up? I'll be at your house here in a couple days. Now, I- I- I'm going to start Oh, maybe with you- if the bank doesn't take it from me by then for using too many S blurs in my private home life. Yeah, maybe. Now, that's hey, when why- you're here, can I just like look at your debit cards and smell them and touch them so I feel what it's like to be real again? I think I'm fucking evaporating like Back to the Future because I don't have a fucking bank. Now, I was going to start with you anyway because uh, of the breaking news with the bank and stuff. Now, tell everybody what happened for those not caught up on what's going on. Oh, I got my uh, I got my uh, right wing puberty today. The bank the, the bank deplatformed me. They they uh, the bank closed my merchant account. Uh, Chase Chase shut down my merchant account, which which I was using to power a new project to the Patreon alternative. Uh, bank of America did it last week, so it's been. I had a backup. I thought I was king of the world, but bam, bam, two giant banks just told me to go pound sand in the eye of my cock. Uh, I'm pretty fucking pissed about it. I'm pretty fucking pissed about it. But there you go. That's what happened. Now, they waited long enough. Now, New Project 2 has been up for, what, like seven months, something like that? A year, Six, man. Uh, it's wow. been a fucking year since Sargon uh, spilled spaghetti all over the customer service rep at Patreon <laughs> and got his account pulled. Now, you also got a, since you've been on here last, this just happened this week, too. You got a warning yeah. from Patreon. It's almost like somebody's trying to fuck with you, Dick. Like, oh, does it feel like that to you, Ralph? <laughs> does it feel like somebody's trying to fuck with you, me to you, too? God damn it. I yeah. think I missed. I I uh, I'm gonna burn a shoebox full of foreskins in the front yard tonight. As, uh, <laughs> for good luck, there's no fuck, man. This is about, this is about, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. If there's any bankers in the chat, I'm just fucking joking. Uh, yeah, it sure feels like it. Patreon sent me a warning that I violated the TOS because a couple months ago, I tweeted about the Cody Wilson verdict, saying. I was offended that the court forced Cody to give the hooker who lied about her age to to uh, to to entrap him or whatever, to trick him into into paying her for her services. I was pissed that the court forced him to give her a five thousand dollar tip, which is what they did. Five thousand dollars restitution. (laughs) <laughs> and they said, I'm, I'm encouraging harassment of the victim. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? This is a hooker we're talking about. Now, I saw it on uh, Twitter. Somebody tweeted that, uh, you know, she was uh, she was underage, obviously. It came out later. Yeah. But she yeah. misrepresented herself as being overage. Now, by that logic, technically, didn't she rape? Cody Wilson? Uh, maybe I, maybe I mean, you shouldn't answer this. <laughs> yeah, I can't answer it. Or I can't, if I answer that question, it cost me $25,000. Never Put mind. Put it that way. I withdraw the question. But, uh, but I started thinking Thank about you. it, and that sounded, you know, to me, not ascribing my views to anyone else. I'm just saying that had a certain bit of logic to it in my I mean, it's mind. called a joke. It's like, yes, the court <laughs> just forced a guy to pay a hooker $5,000. That's a, that's a tip. That's the joke. That's like <clears throat> that's the inhumanity of legislating prostitution and then shoving a shitload of human trafficking and good old-fashioned American ingenuity from teenage girls in the mix. This is it's a joke. <laughs> it's a fucking joke. Uh, yeah, anyway. That's not uh, that's not how my email to Patreon when I have to, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know why I said that. I don't know what came over me. Oh, sorry. wait, you mean you weren't like Sargon? You didn't take a principled stand and say, you know, you can't work with them and sorry. This, this No, I deleted been... it. I deleted that tweet before they even before I read the sentence. I said, here's the here's the tweet. I said, you know what? What tweet? I don't even I don't know. I don't know. It's gone. Now, do you have any um any ideas for, you know, like backup plan for New Project 2 or Hey, man, uh, I'm hoping that banks are like women and they don't talk to each other and <laughs> they like a good story and they're ready to lay down in bed with a smooth talking Mexican. But uh, we'll see. I don't know. I hope I'm not in some kind of blacklist. Now, I know some people suggested like, uh, you know, pornography, um, 
whatever payment process. <laughs> Are you saying you should turn tricks? I don't know yeah, that. that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna well, go. Well, I mean, on they did charge a higher com. fee, but I mean, honestly, I mean, people laugh, but that's what it's coming to, right? I mean, no, bro. Here's the here's the problem with that. <laughs> like, the, the porn processor guys, um, uh, they're more restrictive than regular processors because of what they handle. Their primary concern is chargebacks because, you know, you beat off right. and then all of a sudden you want your 60 <laughs> bucks back. The regret. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So they, they do not like subscription sites. Uh, they charge 12, 15 percent. Uh, there is no there's no goddamn reason a regular bank should not let me take money. Uh, but we'll see. I've talked to a lot of high risk processors, the porno guys, and uh, they they either want nothing to do with me because like they they want porn that they don't want fuck politics are, and stuff like that or like yeah. anything that might touch that third rail. You know, they're interested in bitches getting naked and getting fucked. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. Exactly. Aren't we all? <laughs> I was having such You're a nice have time to start doing the shows nude, uh, uh, Dick. Flamingo, I do that. The shows you nude. Don't you know that? <laughs> uh, right okay. now. So you add the clothes in post. Okay, I got gotcha. you. I've got a saline drip right into my balls right now. That's how upset I am. <laughs> now, uh, Jim, what's going on with the finders? For somebody who hasn't, tell, tell if, if somebody who hasn't watched your streams the past week or so, if they haven't, uh, how would you describe the whole finders thing? Well, I mean, it's funny you bring I it up. I love Israel and the Oh, Jews. there we go. Ah, no. There we there go. It is. <laughs> Well, no, it's it's funny you bring it up because, you know, before we even came on air, right, we were all talking in here and Dick kept telling me because I was telling him about the finders, how they're a child fucking cult. And he's like, that reminds me of the bankers I do business with. But don't <laughs> tell people on stream that I have that opinion. It'll fuck it up for me later on. So, you know, uh, you know, yeah, yeah, the finder stuff is weird as shit. I mean, if you read through that stuff with the CIA and just it, it, it's it's a complete clusterfuck. I had some guy on talking about it. We went a little. A little off into the woods on that one, but I, I, I don't know what to tell you. It's a child fucking cult run by the government. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can you do credit card processing? Maybe I can get in there. Well, you know, I bet they do, actually. I, I'm pretty sure they do. Yeah, probably the CIA and the government don't have too much problems uh, for the uh, for the banks there. All right, now let me see. I have, wow, quite a few of these rolled in. Oh, uh, man. Let me see. Uh, where am I at? Oh, ask Jim if he's still friends with Joe. That was a question. I'm not sure what that's in reference to. I, 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 I somebody asked me that on a stream like a day or two. I don't know who the fuck <laughs> Joe is. You gotta give me more than just one name. Joe who? Yeah, I didn't know. The only Joe I know is Piss Pablo. Uh, angry <laughs> Joe. Uh, Nurak says the motherfucking kill stream. Kyler says it's not even hot outside. Not today it wasn't. Not here in Richmond. Vegeta Fajita says, nah, fuck you. You aren't caught up now. Oh, sorry, I missed yours. Uh, Peaceful Sunset gifted five one-month subscriptions to some users here. I'm going to skip through. Uh, Shout-out to the users that got that, though. Uh, Captain Falcon gave got a subscription. Ten one-month subscriptions from Spanish Inquisition. Holy shit. Yes, very kind. A bunch of people got those. 41% says, Dick Wells Fargo does business with cartels. I'm just saying. Yeah, that's a fair point, though, actually. These banks <laughs> do all kinds of dirt. Uh, end up doing all kinds of criminal shit, and then they get a little, you know, just a little tacky, little ticky tack fine, and then just keep on doing what they're doing. Uh, Cartels Natty, don't make fun of fat drugs women. on the side. <laughs> Maybe I will. They'll start doing that. I mean, you are Mexican. It wouldn't be that big of a stretch, would it? <laughs> Natty, I can't he's... stop dealing drugs because of Mexican. <laughs> I throw it in there. Natty eighty seven says, "Staying up late in the UK for this one." Hands handsome says, "Smoke and drink." in hand entertain me over to chip says time to fight club the banks oh i disavow lubu says dick can you take diners club good question uh they also called you sucks sexy but i won't repeat that colonel j says gentlemen is it even hot outside natty 87 says black pilled in the uk right now cornwall forever 1991 toyota says ian miles chong consumes dog meat yeah ian miles chong has been and uh, you know i'll just toss that i don't know if you've seen this jim uh, but the last two or three days, I know you did a stream on Nick, so I know you saw all of that. But have you seen Ian Miles Chong trying to insert himself directly into the middle of this for no other reason that I can tell besides he works for Will Chamberlain and Human Events now? Um, yeah, he, he's always done that. Like, he's yeah. it's funny because Nick keeps getting shit from people like Seb Gorka, this fucking uh, <laughs> six year old guy who has to take a piss break every two minutes. And he's been calling <laughs> Nick a grifter. Uh, but, you know, like when you're looking at Ian Miles Chung, he's the definition of that. He's almost like Baked Alaska. He just goes from group to group to group, inserts himself into it, has some fucking hot take, and then a month later disavows the former hot take and is now on the other side of it. 
he should be out there flashbanging his dinner. I'm sorry, dogs. <laughs> and, you know, sticking his fucking nose in a business that doesn't belong in it. So I don't know what he's doing. Well, you know what he was doing a year ago? He was on this fucking show. Uh, and there's clips of him on Heel Turn and other shows. And, of course, he was actually a business partner with Andy Worski and was on, you know, all now, these. Andy, Andy Worski, was that the guy that he uh, called SWAT on to get killed? <laughs> yeah, that's him. Yes, oh, that's okay. him. Yeah, that was Wild Goose, wasn't it? <laughs> No, no, I, I, I'm fairly certain that uh, I and Miles Chong called the Canadian police and told them Andy Worski was on mm. drugs and had a weapon and was going to hurt somebody. That was this same calendar year, actually. That wasn't even that wasn't even last year. That happened this exact same year. Yes. Uh, I don't know if you've seen that, Dick. You have any commentary or Dame? You've been very quiet tonight, other than the audio. Uh, I saw that uh, <laughs> Hot Wheels called you out yesterday for for bullying him. <laughs> did, yes. did, did you but see that? Pussy. Yeah, he was like, "Your career is only made of bullying." <laughs> Even though some of the people that you bully are fucking cucks. Yeah, he said your whole career you were nothing but a bully, and that's how you got known, and and that's what you do, and now you're bullying him. Um, and I, I didn't know if you had if you had an official response to that. Or... It's true. <laughs> yes, what career? What a fucking career. Uh, it's fucking unbelievable how having a YouTube channel is now a career. <laughs> you don't even have ads. You fucking career. You're not worried you're about like the money. Dame brand? <laughs> you trademark your laugh? No, uh, I'm going to sell merchandise. That's the way to do yeah. it. I recommend <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Boulder's hat. Uh, Mr. Lister I says, love Israel and the Jews. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> oh, best friends forever. Great my club. Oh my God. Mr. Lister says Dick Bigelow, Mel Gigolo, Vegeta Fajita says I paid NP2 yesterday. Did you get money, Dick? That is a fair question. It looked like they all went through according to the dashboard. Yeah, anything that went through is sitting in my account uh, for now unless the bankers get a twitch in the middle of the night oh, to start siphoning they do that. away from that. Sometimes they do, so hopefully that doesn't... Oh, I see where this is going. It's hey. sitting in your account, is it there, champ? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the bank fucked me, guys. I'm sorry, everybody. <laughs> um, this, is my, this is my plan all Exit along. Scan. There was no deep platforming at all. I just wanted to get all that money loaded up and then I'm gone. Are we sure it's Masterson and not Master of Israel? Israel and the Jew? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's uh it's in there. If it processed today, it'll be in there. When I get the new account, when I get a new account set up, if I find a bank stupid enough to I, let yeah, me I'm working real them. hard over here, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, guys. Trust me. Um, and then I'm going to go check myself into rehab. Me and Peterson are going to be roommates <laughs> <laughs> while we're working on our systems. Oh, Hands Handsome just resubbed for a month. Hawaiian Noises resubbed for a month, two month streak. Let's see. Reno Miles says, Jim's a fed now. Neil Moon says, Ethan Ralph, it's me, Jim. Shin Chan uh, 256B says, Got a glass of whiskey, a fire, and no pants. Let's go. Cass Michael says, Dick, can you process Taco Bell gift cards? Uh, yes, I can process those on my person. If you just find a, a crevice on me and swipe them, I'll instantly. I can instantly give, give you what you want. <laughs> Nicholas Diario says quartering just said Ian used crowdfund money on eThoughts. Uh, yeah, we talked about that uh, with quartering once or twice. Uh, how not only that he lied to get uh, one of his uh, eThoughts hired at quartering's uh, whatever exclusively games. Was that uh, the one that fucked him? Well, didn't he get cucked yeah. by a woman that wanted yes. to fuck Worski after he tried to get him flashbanged? Yes. <laughs> that was the one. So that was the one that actually recorded him. She's the one that put out the audio. So these are two different women. One, he got hired at Quarterings exclusively games, and then he was so bad at his job there and so pathetic and pissed off so many people he had to get fired. So that came out after. But there's another chick, and that's uh, Alex, and that's who Worski you know, ended up getting with later or whatever. Um, and yeah, Ian was also trying to, you know, talk to her and act all badass and cool and DMs. And that's when he told the swatting story was to her. He's a uh, Chad, so that's, man. That's a Chad That's how move. that came out. You know, that makes panties drop immediately when he's <laughs> <laughs> like, getting I mean, dog shot. I don't know what to, I don't understand why that <laughs> sounded cool or what, but. It's not even so. It's not even a story like, oh, hey, I went and beat this guy's ass. Like that's the most bitch 
thing you could possibly do. I called the police to try yeah, to get somebody I else killed. Police. Like, what? It's not, oh, you yeah, know, this hey, guy baby. was talking shit and I smashed his face. No, I tried to get somebody killed through an intermediary. Like, what the fuck? That's the most pussy thing I can do. Hey, baby, of. I can make a phone call and make people disappear. Hey, let's it's go out like, on a date. What is this? Uh, Reno Moss says, Dame, your laughs are like, and then they do your laugh. I love it. Zyklon Steve says, save Gorka's Orcas from the Japanese Groypers. Gorka, co- oh, man. Talk about <laughs> grifters. Gorka, it's almost impossible to watch his fucking show because. It, it is fucking impossible. <laughs> he, he's got like a, they were calling it a boomer bladder. Like he, he gets up every, uh, I timed it. Every two to five minutes, he goes on a five minute break. And it, it, <laughs> what AM radio station is he hosted on? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, so I grew up listening to AM radio, and I still do on occasion. I, I'm not aware of, it's like, usually it's, so they come back around, what, usually like six minutes past the hour, and then they'll stay on till around 20 minutes past the hour or so, and then they'll take another commercial and come back. I don't know where he's at. He said he had two million, did you hear this, by the way, Jim, that he said he had two million listeners? And oh, I love that, that he faked the <laughs> fucking <laughs> Yeah, he's like, oh, I'm getting by a little Mexican guy on the internet. Please give me thumbs up, and nobody would. He's just in the bathroom in a rage, <laughs> selling his body pillows and Metamucil. That's great. <laughs> Two million listeners. He put out the clarion call that he needed your help to defeat fascism or something like that, and oh, no. like 200 people showed up. It was. Uh, oh, they've it been was doing it to him for four. I, I promise you, even if you're not into the politics of this. Just keep an eye on Gorka's live stream because he's going to fucking go crazy in another week or two. He's losing his shit because they fuck with him relentlessly. They're not going to stop. Plus he takes Collins. <laughs> oh, he, he does. does. Yeah, he takes Collins. <laughs> yeah, he does. Maybe they were all on I'm a just bleeding another 30 callers. I'm not sure if he realizes this or not, but they're not going to they're not going to stop. Uh, let's see. Kyler says, me Malaysian, me play joke. <laughs> Honkamanio117 <laughs> says, Dick, I'll give you $5 if you spit in my mouth. That is the most disgusting super chat I think I've ever gotten. That yeah, you like... got it, whoever that is. I'll... Are you a banker? <laughs> Just tell me you're a banker. I'll spit in my mouth. All Kyler... these years I've been coming on here telling you to support your local banks, and this is what they do to me. Kyler says, me get uh, By the way, Ralph, we're yes. off of X tag right now. Oh, yes. Ooh. Hold on. I was, waiting for too spicy. I, was waiting, I was waiting for somebody to start screaming out racial slurs. Come on, guys, wake up. <laughs> well, Rand is in the call room, so it's only a matter yeah, of time. Yeah, we'll, we'll grab Rand here in a second. Um, let's see. Kyler says, me by rope. Actually, Kyler says, me get no pussy. Then he says, me by rope. Cass Michael says, will there be discussion on the finders? Well, we talked about it a little bit, but we'll probably take some calls if, if some other people want to bring it up some more. Mr. Lister says, isn't constant urination a sign of prostate cancer? I don't know. Gork, I, I, think, he, I, I think he has the diabetes because he's got a bit of a, a – like, he's a hefty dude, right? So I'm thinking <laughs> he just sits there, <laughs> drinks sugary drinks, and then every time he comes back to if you watch, he's always kind of fucking with a zipper. He's taking a tinkle every time. <laughs> And he's scrolling. Life. Is he? Do you think he's actually looking at the at the YouTube chat and stuff while he's? Oh I my mean, god! It, yeah, it he appears looks, like he is. He, he oh, looks yeah. at his phone every fucking minute. Yeah, he's getting furious with it. <laughs> oh, Constant Matt, stars of David. Matt Fields in the Lino chat says, "I would take a bullet for any of you fuckers. Love you all." Well, thank oh, you for wow. that. I hope it does. Can I use your social security number to get a merchant account? <laughs> I hope it doesn't come to that. But... I love Israel and the Jew. <laughs> Reality Check says, hey, Jim, Google Frank Fuster parole from 2018. Rebel uh, Selt says, finally, Medicare has the balls to face Bibble. Zykon Steve says, can Sweetie Squad fund Gorka's colostomy bag? We'll work on it. We'll get him one. <laughs> Shin Chan 256B says, bake my cookies, Gorka. All right. Uh, let's I like see. how you just ran over that one. That one super chat there, uh, apparently he doesn't. He doesn't have, because everybody's just been running interference. Everybody's been running interference for Jim here. For Jim, Not letting I mean, me get a here. word in edgewise. He's there, I mean. I, I'm, I'm right here. We've, we've already been on stream together. Ethan, Ralph, it's me, Medicare. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't, don't try your tricks on me, Gator. All right. <laughs> No, he's All right, which one of you is the real Medicare? <laughs> I love Israel and the Jews. I believe in the Holocaust. The saddest part <laughs> is the Holocaust. I can't queer, tell the... Queer, little queer, please put it in my rear. 
I love queers and homosexuals. <laughs> I think All right, that's, that's the real Medicare. I can't, I can't tell which one is real. Ralph, it's me, Medicare. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> All right. All right, Jim. Did you or did you not do your stream? I can't I can't do the smuckles like someone we know, but did you or did you not do your stream on the finders so that you I love could Israel hide and the Jews. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Gator. Hold on. Wait just wait a just wait a second. <laughs> did you or did you not? <laughs> That's the best answer. Go ahead, Bubble. Go ahead. Did you or did you not do your stream on the finders so that you could hide your own grooming activities so you could distract from that? Fucking oh. no, you got him. You got him. Sargon was right all along. I got him! I got him! 112 and 0! <laughs> I rest my case. I, I am undefeated still. <laughs> I wonder if uh, I wonder if uh, these finders were used for child sex responses, like Terry tried to warn us of. You know, I was thinking about that reading over it. I was like, "Holy shit, maybe Terry Davis was actually a hundred percent fucking correct, and there really were CIA nine year olds trying to trying to get him to engage in illegal activities." <laughs> Let's see. Vegeta Fajitas says, "Ralph, have you have you ever had Lee's chicken in RVA?" No, I actually haven't, <clears throat> but I've heard that it's good. Um, maybe I should check that out. Reno Miles says, "Bibble." <laughs> He's quoting Bibble here. Oi, mate, the dingo ate my baby, mate. I guess that's a cue for me to see what Rambot's doing here, too. Uh, let me bring him in. Oh, shit. <clears throat> All right, there we go. Okay. Um, also, BlizzCon, I saw you talking about that today. We haven't really... We covered it a couple weeks ago when the whole Blizzard stuff broke out, but we... Of course, it just happened today, so we really haven't covered BlizzCon. Oh, BlizzCon um, was fantastic. <laughs> they were showing up in uh, Winnie the Pooh suits. I guess you were following it closer than me, so maybe you could give a little. Oh, I'll give breakdown. you a quick. Uh, yeah, I'll give yes. you a quick summary. So, um, let's everybody give a congratulations to Jay Allen uh, Ballard. What the hell is the guy's name? The 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 president of uh, Blizzard, the guy that gave the opening speech, the apology. He's close to transitioning fully now. I don't know if you saw what he looked like, but <laughs> no. that dude, he's a one foot in a dress already. Uh, so he goes up on stage and shows off his new tits. And then uh, they go and show the new games, which is basically Diablo 3.5, Overwatch 1.5, and uh, like a new dragon card in Hearthstone. So it was a real bang-up fucking show. Really worth the wait. <laughs> oh, yeah. I have it in uh, show lengths. Yeah, I'm showing a bunch of the pictures on the screen now, too, with the with the Winnie the Pooh costumes. Uh, let me see. I, oh, you have a picture of him, Gator? Hold on. Oh my oh, god! Oh wow, he does yeah, look like he's uh, transitioning. Twitter. What is? This? Yeah, doesn't he? He looks yeah. like that. Yeah, and I wasn't making that up. Mm -hmm. This dude's a tranny. Wow, that skullet's got to go, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it looks like he's got some kind of makeup on too. And he's got a pride flag, a little pride flag, a pin on his lapel on the right. If you look on the collar, he's got a little rainbow. I think he's holding his penis between his thighs. Too. <laughs> you can tell by the way he moves. Uh, the look on his face yeah, says it all. I'm afraid. All right, let's let's see. We do we do have a few callers. Why not why not try one? Let's see if this works. Yato, you're on the air on the kill stream. Go ahead. Oh, oh hello, Medicare. Uh, let me queer, queer, real real queer. Please put it in my <laughs> ear. I love queers and homosexuals. Oh, shit, it's a real Medicare. Oh my gosh. Hello. Uh, I love you all. Asterios is a fat faggot. And Whoa. he got nicked off of everything. We love Asterios. Don't say that. Yeah, Asterios Coconuts abuses women. Me. I need a bigger TV. Dick. And guess what? Dick. You're I'm... paying. Oh, oh, oh. Defend yourself. Dick. I don't even know <laughs> what's going on. All right. Uh, uh, it seems like another life. <laughs> <laughs> and that was this <sighs> week. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's try another caller. Seek a loather. You're on the kill stream. Go ahead. Yes. I eat poop. It's good morning. Good morning. Can anyone hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Yes. Can anyone hear me? Good morning. Yes, we can hear me you. Go. Yo. Mr. Me talk, yo. Can anyone hear me? Oh, good. You can hear me. Yes. Yes, me. Good, good. Me talk yo. I really have complaints over here. I'm in any Mongolian county deciding Singapore. You know, I'm very about complaints. I'm very really like about complaints. So whenever I listen me Chinese, to me no doubt. Me eat dog. Monday night, yum, yum, yum. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, somebody played. Go ahead, go ahead, repeat Yo. that. 
Gold Star. He left. He, he left. left. Was he so offended that he left? Oh, no. Gold Star Gold. Oh, come on. Come back, Mongolian. <laughs> <laughs> the Mongolian fears the soundboard. Oh, man, he's Me, left. <laughs> Me play joke. Me put pee-pee in your coke. So how's your birthday party going, Ralph? Oh, it's going good. Yeah, you know what? I don't know. I think I mentioned this at the beginning. I'm not sure if I did. I know I mentioned it during the week. This is one year since we got kicked off YouTube to the day, November the 1st, 2018. Your death day party. Yes, yeah, the death day party. We're yeah. we're still here with the with the classic background. How, my my day is going pretty good actually, Brand. How's your going? How's your day going? Oh, it's going all right. Look, uh, it was very subtle, but I did pick up on your little message there, bringing him in half an hour later. Uh, Don't worry, uh, I, I I picked up on it loud and clear. You obviously wanted me to prep by pounding ciders, uh, you know, without being inhibited uh, yes. by talking. Of course, yes. <laughs> oh, Ralph, Ralph, this is Rand. Is this yeah. is it the is this the guy you were talking about earlier uh, in private chat when you said uh, the pussy that ran away from Andrew Anklin? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's him. Um, yeah, was that him. was that the one you're like just keep it under your hat, Jim? All right. Yeah, I was I was saying don't mention, don't mention how scared he was of of Anglin on air. That's it's true, I'm terrified of him. He's probably got a whole bunch of questions. He's probably got a whole bunch of questions he wants to ask me that I'd be highly uncomfortable answering. Uh, anyway, how's it going, Ryan? <laughs> <laughs> Doing fantastic. That was a hell of an intro. Uh, when you tr when you said, I, I was looking at it and I was going, who the fuck put this together? And you said Meringue Bad. And I go, of course. Yes, that is true. Was, gold. That was even more acid washed than the than the other Meringue Bad video that I'm going to play at the end of the show. By the way, speaking of people coming into the show, Nick Ricada is still going to join us here on the program. Uh, okay. Rand, what, do you have a, you got something to say or... I don't oh, well, a question or, or some type of a lot of, of it profound... already got said. You know, I, I wanted to point out a few things about uh, about Seb Gorka, but I think they already got pointed out. I just want to put it. It looks like uh, kind of it kind of looks like ripped torn, and you know, if he was just fed hot, you know, incredibly fatty lemons, he's uh, he's not he's not looking too good, and uh, he's probably he's, not going to. He's, he's looking busted as shit. Have you been watching his streams, watching him freak out? <laughs> I've been watching the highlights of it. So the 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 bit where he. Um, let me see if I can do his affectation. He, you know, he, he does that fake British thing. You know, we're, they're getting bombarded by the trolls here on the YouTube, but we'll show them how strong our community is. Why don't you go onto YouTube and, and give us a thumbs up? We'll show those trolls who we are here on America first. And then he gets 500 upvotes and 3,000 downvotes. Oh, okay, nice, so nice show in there, knockoff Rip Torn. This is this is what I'm kind of wondering. Is part of this because uh, Fuentes' show is called America First? Because they both have you the know same what? name. That for actually a show. occurred to I don't really think it is, but that crossed my mind too because they do have the same name for the show. And to be fair, I mean, look, America First, the, the saying America First has been out there for a while. So I won't even say that he stole it. Uh, but yeah, that did that did that did cross my mind. And Gorka, this has been brought up by others, but he does have a lot of nerve going on there and talking about what a real American... He's got, like, 15 different passports talking about real American uh, values and all this and that when he has no... I mean, he has no real ties to the country in the first place. It's kind of uh, hilarious. Uh, let's see. Uh, go ahead, Rand. You're going to say something? I was just going to put... You know, there's this... And obviously, they don't get the memes, but uh, they, every time they keep going, we, we conservatives believe, and both both Kirk and, and Seb do the same thing. We, the conservatives, disavow this. We, the conservatives. Honestly, you know, it's like look, these fucking pod people have come in and decided that they're the real human being. There's a you know, lot how do you of do, things, fellow kids. Look, there's a lot of things they don't get, and what I don't understand is why they don't just hire somebody who clearly understands what's going on. Because just this whole week, I mean, this stuff has kind of well, been Well, they bubbling. do. They do well, keep wait, hiring wait, people who wait. know what's going on, and then they have to fire them. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, look, this this stuff has been bubbling for a while with Fuentes, and this whole week they've just compounded mistake after mistake, and they're making it worse and worse by responding and just blowing it up. They're doubling, tripling his audience. Yeah, uh, they are. Just, uh, he's gained yeah. 6,000 people on YouTube yeah. and 8,000 on Twitter just in the last week from this. Yeah, it's it's unbelievable what they're doing for this guy, and I, and you know, I hate maybe I shouldn't say it out loud, but th that's not the right strategy. I don't I don't understand uh, what what they what exactly they're going for here. 
Uh, it just it just doesn't it just doesn't really make sense to me that they're increasing his profile, making him, uh, you know, more uh, more well known, and I mean, making him more money too. To be frank, so at the end of the day, their <laughs> strategy is to try to get him deplatformed off of everything, so they don't care how big of well, a profile they give yeah. him. Yeah. They're just gonna yeah. take it away at the end of the day. We Why conservatives they- are flying this plane, and while the racist and anti-semitic autopilot keeps telling us to pull up we know the true direction is by pushing the joystick straight up and plunging directly into the ground america first well, Ralph, I, you know what I, you, you, know what you I, have to do uh call into groupers show and start talking about wooden doors <laughs> <laughs> well i think one of the biggest things about this is is that like nick didn't do this as like a strategic months in preparation planning to like do this this was on a whim it seems and he was well, able to like he was able he... to fill a q a session with nine out of 11 of his people asking like really like awkward questions to charlie kirk well, and, so like, the, that yeah there's a, there's, the look, there's a reason for this first off one of the reasons they're having a hard time slowing it down is because they have this tour schedule and there's a different fucking stop every single day so there's more and more opportunity to keep the keep the story rolling. So it's either a cancel the tour, cancel the Q and A. I mean, there's not a lot of good options here. So they can't they can't really stop it that way. And then when you have the Q and A section, only the most dedicated people usually get up and ask a question. So you have the people who will even show up for something like this in the first place, going to see Charlie Kirk speak. I, I hate to break this to the audience. That's not really seen as like a a hip thing to do, you know. Most people got 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 other shit they'd rather do than go to a TV USA event. So you you narrow it down to that that level already. So then you have the people that show up. Then you have a separate cut of the people who will actually get up and ask a question. So if you're if you're one of those dedicated people, you're a big fan of Nick's, and you're there already. You already have a leg up uh, in terms of asking a question. You're way more likely to have one of Nick's people ask a question than somebody who just got roped into one of these. A lot of times they'll fill it up by saying, um, I've, been, I've been in this shit that's happened to me before where, oh, if you go to this event where this politico is there speaking, you get extra credit in your class and stuff like that. That's how they fill up a lot of these, actually. Um, so don't don't be fooled necessarily when you see... Uh, if you see a lot of people well, there. Even with that, I mean, it's not yeah. a huge turnout. Like, if it wasn't for Nick yeah, and his exactly. audience, there'd be nobody sitting in these fucking <laughs> yeah. things. Are, uh, are, you guys, are you guys surprised by the people that have... I've been paying attention to, like, who's coming out on what side, and it, it's been it's been really interesting. I mean, you got, like, uh, Stefan Molyneux, uh, yeah. Michelle... Uh, was it Malkin, the Asian? Malkin. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, what was it? I Ann think Sertovich, like, straddled the fence on it. Sort of this um, is kind of riding it. I've noticed that too, and I talked to Mike uh, recently. Yeah, he he seems to be kind of trying to ride ride the middle of it a little bit. But Ann Coulter uh, was retweeting a bunch of uh, anti Charlie Kirk stuff yesterday too. I, I Mike Cernovich doesn't want to have a Dick Masterson experience when he checks his bank <laughs> bank account tomorrow. <laughs> Ann on. recognizes that Nick is the straight Milo. He's the so, so she's got to lay in on him. She's got. Well, I do think it. part of it is, and Jim can take it from there too but i think a lot of it is you can see which part of the you know dispute has the juice you know what i mean you can see who's the... having fun yeah exactly oh, I love yeah. Yeah. And the captain <laughs> <laughs> the Kirk what, is when, Kirk when is oj right? simpson buying that bank again ralph <laughs> wait go ahead go ahead jim go ahead jim uh, no no no. i was just saying yeah kirk's out gun I mean, you can't watch this shit take place and be like Oh, yeah. Yeah, Kirk's the one that's coming out the winner of this. Yeah, like the momentum is all clearly on Nick's side. Like, you don't even have to be, you know, some meme lord expert internet person to see which side is winning. Well, yeah, only one side's laughing. That's the yeah, thing. Exactly. You think random people coming across this just want to have, a, you know, a chuckle, a smuckle, if you know, if you will. Uh, and you know, watching Seb Gorka shit himself in rage every day. Exactly. Is <laughs> fucking great. <laughs> All right, let's try to let's try to roll through some of these. I see there is quite a few callers in here. Let's see, uh, cultured Australian, you're on the kill stream. Go ahead. Hey, what's going on? What's up? Now there's a username. That's a contradiction in terms. I was about to say, I actually wore it for every someone. A walking contradiction. Go ahead, sir. Ask your question or speak your comment or or whatever. Either one. <laughs> That's neither. That, wow. That's, Sorry, doing, just that's, that's doing neither. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> just wanted to say, Metacore, you're an absolute legend, bro. 
Uh, Ethan Ralph, Thomas it's me, Medicare. Yeah. I love Israel and the Jews. <laughs> <laughs> it's the real Medicare. Queer, queer, little queer. Please put it in my rear. I love queers and homosexuals. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, go ahead, caller. Uh, can you see me? Yes, I can hear you. Yeah, yeah beautiful. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, so I was just watching fucking Beto O'Rourke uh, brush his teeth uh, and talk a bunch of shit and I don't know, just get his like hair done and shit. I just thought it was the gayest crap, man. Uh, what are you planning on doing with that guy? Me? I'm not going to do oh, anything with him. What's the deal, Ralph? I'm not doing like, anything with him. No, How no, are you no. going to handle this skateboarding furry? Go ahead. No, go no. He's, he's much too... No. no. <laughs> with a rope? He's uh, he's too he's too old for me. I can't I can't Wait, handle that. The, was that know. was that who was the with the rope coming from? <laughs> I think that, that was Gator. Me. That was yeah. Gator. Yes. Oh, I thought I thought it was Dick. I was gonna be like kiss the Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, Gator no, has I a Patreon. I'm a homosexual. Oh, okay. So <laughs> I, I'm glad you mentioned. That, that, that I'm glad, different this time. <laughs> I'm glad you mentioned that cultured Australian, uh, Beto O'Rourke. He ended his campaign today, even after he went full gun grabber a month or two ago. It didn't propel him. Remember when? I don't know if everybody here remembers, but there were all these articles last fall saying, "When's Beto gonna announce?" Everybody's waiting on it. First off, he waited way too long to fucking announce. He lost a lot of institutional support and money but that's another point but uh when he finally did announce it's just been a straight downfall pretty much not quite what as a, bad as kamala Harris, but uh just with, with a campaign promise like we're going to have the greatest uh we're going to have the greatest domestic police action ever seen <laughs> as my inaugural act as president somehow he didn't he didn't make the cut so beto's done kamala harris there's another story let me see if i can uh pull that up actually i have that ready. yeah what are you gonna do ralph when beto cuts another promo like that and comes after you <laughs> that's, i think that's the true question he was asking when he starts saying yes we're gonna come to your house yeah. ralph and we're gonna well, see you on the 28th that's at Madison fine Square Garden. That's fine. I don't have any guns. I'm I'm legally prohibited from having those anyway. But, <laughs> yeah, that's right. I but, but, so I don't have to worry about him coming to take mine because I don't have any. But if, if you look at Politico, this is also another story today. Kamala Harris shutters her New Hampshire offices. Uh, it's not going very well. Ooh. If you look at the latest polls, uh -uh. Uh, she's running at like 3 4%. Tulsi Gabbard, who knifed her back in August, is challenging her in some of these polls. So Beto... And Kamala looking both dead in the water. Uh, w what do you think 2020 is looking like, Jim? A lot of laughs. <laughs> if I'm going to be honest, a lot of fucking laughs probably coming up. Um, I wish the skateboarding furry had stayed in a little longer. Uh, who was the dude that played with dollhouses in his fucking grandma's garage? Oh, the one that, the one that wanted to, he was like all nuke gun owners. He went really fucking crazy with it. Oh, um, Swallow. Uh, Swallow. Yeah. Of course, his fucking Wait, he's a Democrat. Why wouldn't his name be Swallow? <laughs> <laughs> the, the only answer to a bad guy with a gun is a good guy with a nuclear weapon. Yeah, yeah was it, <laughs> well, Swalwell, he was running for for president too at one point. Yeah, like I mean, for like fifteen minutes. So um, everyone was running for president. Who, who, yeah, who, who's left then? I mean, that's what Yang Gabbard. Uh, I mean, it's God. Is it going to go to Biden? He's so confused on stage half the time. I don't know. You know, I always no, it's thought. It's going to go to Biden or Sandy yeah. Hillary. Hillary's I, you know what? Back, I think it's going to be Biden. I think it's Biden or or Elizabeth Warren, because if you look at a lot of the fundamentals, <laughs> um, Warren is really strong. And you look at a lot of the state to state polling. I've always thought Biden had a, you know, a clear shot pretty much. But um, he's he's been coming off. I mean, because he is. He's really old. Uh, and he's really not on the cutting edge at all in terms of policy. And his now, what clued you into his uh, his age? Was it when he referred to black people as the coloreds during debates? <laughs> the coloreds, or when his his teeth when his teeth almost <laughs> fell out of his mouth and and hit the floor? That was one. Or or when his fucking eye his eye started spontane like a blood vessel burst in his eye spontaneously <laughs> on stage. Dude, I don't think I've know. ever heard of such a thing. Like what? Oh man, this guy needs to be in assisted living, not out for president. But that's that, that's why I hope he does kind of get it because <laughs> be so good if he does. Oh, let's see. Uh, Banana Yams in the Lino chat says this is like the G7 for shit posters. 
Uh, let's see where else are we at. Uh, Nurak says, "Can we get a shout out for the roast mortem cast? The roast mortem. I'm not sure. I don't know what the roast mm -hmm. mortem is, but mm -hmm. shout out to them." Uh, Psycho Dad resubbed. Reno Miles says, "Bibble, please sit up on stream. This is important." Neela Moon says, "Bibble nope. versus Medicare chat wins." <laughs> Clifford C. Clavin just simply says, "V." Stacy Marjorie with some diamonds. Cast Michael says, "Asterios abuses women." That's a good topic that we're about to get to. Serious <laughs> abuse women. Uh, Nurak says, RIP stream.me. I would agree with that. Reno Miles says, Jim, oh. 6 million to 1. Actually, it says 6 million to 0, uh, the ratio there. Uh, bang. Wait, what does it say? Bang in your mom. Just kidding. It says, Boner. Bang in your mom. Just kidding. It says, Flaccid. Then 30D disagrees. It says, Seb Gorka <laughs> looks like Rip Torn now, a corpse. Nurak says, Seb Goika. Spanish oh, Inquisition wow. says press <laughs> five for five hour stream. Game Godzilla, game. Godzilla 37 says Nick equals America first. Gorka equals Israel first. Level best says Sweetie Squad slash, slash Nicker Alliance now and forever. Jim, what question would you ask in the Q&A? That's a very good question, actually. In, in what Q&A? The Q&A. If you were up there. Charlie Kirk ones. If you oh, were up there with Charlie Kirk or Crowder or any of these people, what would you ask? Oh, I wouldn't be I allowed love to Israel have a and the Jew. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, God, I, 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 I honestly, because uh, to see how uncomfortable Kirk gets, he was starting to lose his shit. I'd keep asking about the USS Liberty. The first couple times, he was like, well, let me be reasonable. This is what I think. The last one, he went full uh, Greta. How dare you ask that question? Don't you dare besmirch Israel. It's clearly irritating him now. Oh, yeah. it's pissing yeah. him off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. At first, he's like, oh, yeah, well, I'll deal with these couple trolls. Let me show how magnanimous I am. Now it's clearly getting to be a grind. That's why I wonder if they're even going to finish this. Oh, you know what would be great? If you could because... dress up like a Jewish rabbi and yeah. get up the mic and just start. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. And you just start, you start dancing. And then you say, what am I? What am I? Let's <laughs> 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 see if I have that one. That one guy who was like, man, that was a racist thing. It's like, I know he went to Israel. Israelis just are the best dancers. Everyone should Google it. That was, oh. Uh, well, the Google trend after it, everybody was looking it up. It, it was legit amazing. trended to the uh, Purge All Goblin says, great show, Ralph. Keep it up. Very kind of you. Thank you. 80 user says, thanks, Jim, for the cool made in Bangladesh hats. Rebel Selt says, <laughs> <laughs> says ask Jim his thoughts on Matt not being the father. Well, there you go. What Ooh. are your thoughts on, on that <laughs> arc from a few I'm, weeks ago? Yeah. I'm loving whoever is running uh the uh, MC Jarbo account. Oh uh, god. Fucking oh, yeah. music. <laughs> How good is that? Oh dude. I can't get over it. It it's, He's it's always almost, had really good music. It's so good it's almost wasted on making fun of somebody like Monday Matt to be honest. Almost because it's I mean it is great. But yeah, like you sit there, you, you agree with me though? Like it's almost so good that you think, "Wow, this guy could be doing this to anybody." Uh, but yeah, it it has been pretty epic. Speaking of music, uh, Dick's running. Uh, I don't know if Jim knows about this. Dick is uh, recording a, a little Christmas album about mundane Matt. You know what? I was just looking oh. that up. It's not me. It's one. Of, it's uh, My Room Records who sends a lot of music into my show. I think it's I think it's Fatsmas dot fun. Or something. He's doing a Christmas album so, dedicated yeah. to. What's the uh, what's is the name? What's the name of the album? Is it a Stereos Abuses Women? <laughs> I <think> that, did. <laughs> that, that should be a bonus track. That's the base side. Yeah, <laughs> that's a bonus track. That needs to be now. I think it's Batsmas Carols. That's close. Maybe you heard it wrong. Or is but, it yeah. Batsmas for baseball Batsmas? Is that is that what it is for a Batsmas? Is that, is that his motto? Right? Baseball Batsmas. <laughs> Asterios and women and abusing doesn't appear anywhere in the URL. <laughs> in the yeah. URL, just the yeah. title. <laughs> oh God! All right, Mister Lister says Beto dropped out. Yes, I realize. Thank you for reminding me, though. Dead Kulak says, if Biden is the candidate, he may die, and I'll laugh. Tuesday with the diamond. Shout out to Tuesday. Zyklon Steve says, can we get an N-word tower in chat for Rand? I disavow. Now, Dick, what's Give going on? Give me some of the money. <laughs> Dick. Oops, that was the wrong one. <laughs> Dick, what's going on with the with the whole Asterios thing? Oh, God. Uh, this seems like a lifetime ago that we're talking about on Monday. I guess, um, you know, uh, the guy was the guy was running his mouth. I heard from fr fans that he was running about his mouth about my private life. And it pissed me off because it seemed like he was cash using me as currency 
And now I did overreact. You, Go ahead. Me, <laughs> now, I just want to ask you real quick. Now, what kind of, like, was it malicious how he's saying it? I mean, first off, if you're saying that shit out of school, I mean, that's a violation no matter what. But, like, what, I guess in what, I'm not asking you what he said, but, like, what was the manner of it? You know what I mean? Like, what was, how I would you felt describe? it was private and disparaging. And I right. got this, I got the feeling as though it was, I was being used as a currency so he could, he could gossip with a bunch of, with fans. Uh, it pissed me off. I had had maybe one or two drinks, and I laid into him <laughs> on Twitter. But the problem is, um, I don't. You asked if it's malicious. I, I don't know. I don't know. Stupi- stupidity and uh, and malice kind of blur um, at some point. I think everybody. Why not attribute- both? Yeah, I think people attribute things to stupidity when they want to like someone, and malice when they want to not like someone. But uh, I just got sick of it. I got sick of all the all the uh, the duplicity and the. One story here, and the and the lies that I know about uh, to find myself, and then immediately after he comes and asks me for fifty G's. So now I explain guess, like, that because I didn't know. <laughs> now wait, I didn't know. Hey, Dick, I didn't... I'm hitting you up for money. I need money to <laughs> not need some sell money. secrets. Yeah, give me some money. No way. I need wait. some money. And wait. again, just wait. so you don't play no. a shit, give wait. me the money. No. <laughs> 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 So I didn't know the full story on the 50 G. So why don't you tell me what that is? Somebody on here, I think it was Hazen Cruz. By the way, Hazen Cruz is going to come in on Wednesdays uh, going forward uh, along with the other cornucopia of hosts. Uh, here I heard you guys talking. It was like two Elvis impersonators talking <laughs> to each other, like their accents and shit. He also just, has the southern twang. This is this is true. Um, I pictured those two guys riding those fat guys riding motorcycles together. <laughs> this, 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 is, this is that podcast. I know if those guys had a I'm podcast, this is what it would be. Nah, but but he uh, he mentioned the 50k. Now, from your perspective, obviously you're a principal in the in the whole uh, formulation here. Uh, what happened with the with the 50k? Uh, well, after the after Maddox's law, lawsuit got tossed out, there was a possibility of a countersuit, and Asterios called into my show, uh, rolling out his GoFundMe legal offense fund, which was fine. But then he. He uh, he he brought up uh, he brought up me paying for his countersuit, which is fifty thousand dollars. I thought I asked some reasonable questions about it, but uh, he didn't he didn't seem to think so, or he didn't want to hunker in for a for uh, another year long legal fight for entertainment purposes, which is what it would be. And then I never heard from him again, or I heard from him once or twice after that. It was always weird. Everyone was always weirded out by it. I was very weirded out by it, and I. I was beating myself up for the years and what the hell happened? What, you know, what was the, what was the, how could that have been handled differently? But, um, that's what happened. Then I come to find out, you know, from a guy a year later, that he's running his mouth and, uh, talking about my personal life, which, which, which pissed me off. Uh, and that was the result of it. Uh, it was not, it's not behavior I'm proud of, but what can I say? You, you can't, if you want to have overreacted, you can't go back and do that, but you can always just apologize for an overreaction. <laughs> this is That's true. my motto. But obviously Fuck things it. were already kind of a little bit frayed. Like, I mean, because, yeah, yeah, and I, you know, completely from the outside, of course, and I've never talked about this ever in my life, but, I mean, I, I always thought it was strange how Asterios just kind of like, I mean, I, I never, you know, what I mean, like disassociated. I think in that text he talked about, oh, mm. maybe I'll reengage. Reengage someday or whatever when I want to or I I don't know I just thought it was really strange uh, from well, the outside. He goes, does a show in. with a, a pedophile lover, so I guess <laughs> not that toxic after all. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I think he goes and acts. He goes and acts like a massive bowl of fruit for over a year. Did you really overreact? I don't think yeah. most people felt. But so. it seems strange from you to you just on the inside too. Like just like what the fuck? This is kind of weird. Like, All I'm saying, Ralph, is if you, you, when you come in, uh, when you come into my house next week, if you tell anybody what you see here, we're gonna have, we're just gonna be a big <laughs> fucking problem. I'm gonna spurg out all day, every day. I Wait, what happens if we get that. Ralph back and you know, he needs a cushion to sit down, and he's like, "Dick said I can't talk about it." No, but it would be like all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> no, but no, but it would Don't be like all of a sudden a if time. I if I never mentioned like never. Actually, it's even worse than that because he was on your show like an official part of your show or whatever. But it'd be like if if somebody who was a big part of my show, I just never mentioned them anymore. Like I never mentioned Dick. Like uh, I came back from L.A. We did all that stuff, and I just never spoke about you again. And just I don't know. It's just it just was really strange. 
uh, behavior well, the, from the start. It's also that you need to put together a TED talk if you're pissed off at anyone on the internet anymore. Like, oh, why, well, what do, you, what do you mean? Why are you pissed off at that guy? <laughs> well, hey, everyone, welcome to my 17-minute fucking PowerPoint of why this guy's the devil. Uh, I just took it personally and acted like a bitch. That's all. That's Now, let me ask you this to be the Go full, ahead. The full talk. <laughs> the full uh there's there's uh somebody waiting go in. is there any way to mend fences on this mend fences uh well liquor liquor starts and solves most of my problems so i'm not so you say could no. mend things with the stereos you say yeah I, yeah i don't see why not uh right. if i could mend things with maddox then um Sure, I could see things going well, but uh, yeah, I'm. Uh, I just got a bad feeling about the whole thing. Um, I don't see anything improving, but you know that's just me. Right. Dick oh. is a cock. <laughs> what <is this> <laughs> It wasn't me. It was stereo. Well, you know that any if anyone asks me if we're cool, I have to say yes. So <laughs> anyone besides Matt asks me if we're cool, I have to say yes. Oh, eighty user says. Oh, I already read that one. Hold on, where am I at? Uh, let's see. Oh my goodness. That's uh, the weirdest shit, with Matt. Hawkamania one one seven says juice stereos, uh, and he uses a a certain substitute for for a stereos's last name. Abuses Palestinians. Pro Truth oh. Anti Media says I have a huge Gorka drop. All right, he says mm. he has. He says Ooh. he has. A, yeah, he but says, it'll just be a toilet flushing effect. <laughs> Wait, he says he has a Gorka drop. Let's see. All right, what's the Gorka drop? All right, can you guys hear me? Yes. Yes, we can. Okay, so you know the point you uh, the other day when you're live streaming, he talked about how he was praising. The the Hungarian rising of 1956. A guy called in and Gorka was all, "Yes, that was uh, amazing. I wouldn't be alive today if that didn't happen." And it was explicitly an anti-Jewish uprising. For those who know their it, history, yes. yes. Oh, shit. It, yeah, it, if you look up David Irving um, Hungary in YouTube, you'll find him giving a talk explaining how in 1956 anti-communist uprising was originally started as an anti-Jewish pogrom because the com the communist government was so filled to the brim of with Jews. Well, didn't, well, didn't, well. His, uh, didn't Gorka's mother work for yes. David Irving? Yes, and I was about to mention yes. that and ask Shit. that to the panel. How is he just not going to address that whatsoever after he tried to smear Nick Fuentes? And I, and I mentioned this on the show and on Twitter. Gorka was a member of an arguably of an arguably a Nazi organization himself, or at least a Nazi adjacent or or praising organization. And his mom worked for Please David don't, Irving. Don't take away my depends. <laughs> no, I need but, the, man, so he's a member of. No, but look, wait, 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 wait. He's a member. Now you guys already know that in shit. Hold up, hold up. He's a member of that organization. His mom worked for David Irving. And he's trying to smear Fuentes as the as like the Nazi. I don't know. It's just kind of it just boggles me. It's mind amazing really. what you'll do for money. Yeah, but if you go back cool. and listen to that clip, uh, you'll notice that uh, that uh, Gorka gets incredibly uncomfortable when the guy calls in about the Hungarian uprising because Gorka knows. Yeah, he's kind of got a funny looking nose, though. I think I'm just pointing that mm. out. Do you, do you think he might no, be um, a, a rootless cosmopolitan? We don't he does know. have Thank three you. citizenships. Thank well, I'd like to make one three. last. Can I mention one last thing real quick? Quickly. Um, Go. Now I watched. I heard that Richard Spencer is really like salty, so I w listened to him on GFG. And one thing that I noticed that was really funny is how bad he wants this to be an alt right thing. This is pure Ted Pike, true news. Michael Jones, paleo conservative energy, and the alt right is dead. Nobody wants to sit around and jack off about ethno states anymore. It's over. I don't know. I, I well, haven't Spencer's heard. Spencer's always had a hate boner for no, Fuentes. Look, like, I that, haven't heard. That's look, been going back for yeah, a I while. I haven't heard what like, Spencer said, but thank you. Thank you for calling in, man. Yeah. yeah I, hasn't Spencer always been like explicitly hated Fuentes and call him like a smarmy little kid or something? 
All right. Yeah, they're not on the best of terms. I think that's safe to say. Reno Miles says, Dick, I need Dr. Phil episode four to five. Please, man. Oh, God. What a what an emotional roller coaster this week. The 10 year holy grail. Oh, my Dr. God. Phil episodes are out. We're going to Ralph. We're going to watch those when you're here. Let's I wanted do to save it. it for you. I actually download. So I knew they would get taken down. I had yeah. the intuition. So I downloaded them and I was going to watch some and maybe even play some of the show. But once you put that tweet out, I decided not to. I was like, no, no we got to do not. it. Yeah, we I was like, I'm not going to watch any. Yeah, we'll just wait. Till you guys there, need to so. record your watching of it and uh, re-upload it as uh, transformative that. content. <laughs> I saw that well, Dick, if I can ask you a question about this, and it's not a Comment spoiler because I think you'll clearly remember this this particular part of it. Okay. Yeah. Um, there's a bit where um, where Doctor Phil says, "Well, most of these people here are genuinely looking for help." But you, Dick, you're looking to make money off of this. And you just yeah. smile and say, yeah, of course I am. And I was just wondering, like, <laughs> why else would I be on this show for pigs? Yeah. It, it, it I seems like he, was, and the he, he looked like he was genuinely annoyed. And he was, like, genuinely taking a swipe at you. And I'm like, but, but you you approve, like, you, you, you're the dude. You're the one who ticked the, ticked, ticked the box. And you knew exactly what Dick was there for. So why are you looking genuinely outraged that Dick's here to sell a book? You know, like, you knew I was a snake when you let me in the door. Yeah, I, I, Dr. Phil made more money off of that than I did. Like, he he uh, he had some guy lined up to be a misogynist, but he wasn't funny. It was some old guy who was sad and <laughs> genuinely angry. And then they found me and was like, oh, this fucking asshole will work, will work for free for a whole week. Just get him in here. He's a soundbite machine. Uh, I think Dr. Dr. Phil knew what was going on the whole time. He's... Uh, he, he knows exactly the deal. Yeah, there. come on. So like, you don't reckon well, you don't reckon that was a genuine dig? That was just there for the telly? No, that's a that's a chick wrestling is is Dr. Phil. <laughs> that's a woman's mm. version of wrestling. Now, that's what all, about the the, the Goose Wayne yeah. thing? So no. I saw I saw Goose Wayne. I mean, there's no way. Like I, I I listened to him on your show and I think like he was partially afraid to break character. I think so uh, too. You saw did you notice that too? Like I was like, yeah. "Come on, man." Like Nah, come on. I'm I'm a lifelong wrestling fan too, and it's like, uh, come on. I know I know what's fake. You weren't running around town like you're Batman. Come on. No. Yeah. Same with his girlfriend. Um, yeah. They're good at it though. They are. They're good at it. Now, they're can school. I can I bring up this one's a little bit less known, Dick. There was this one part where uh, this woman came up to a mic and she uh, <laughs> she she was saying that she she wouldn't date you. Uh, or she would be at the back of the line. <laughs> Do you remember that one? I mean, that's a that's a bit of a deep. Lore. It sounds familiar. That part sounds familiar. Okay. Did you ever find your uh, your rosebud? <laughs> your white whale. my white whale. No, I really, I really <laughs> no, want to like get her. Bud. If you like rosebud more, I I really want to get her <laughs> and that old broad um on the show to watch it or maybe watch it live or something like that. Um, yeah, but we'll we'll watch it while you're here. We'll uh, I'll try to get everybody in on that one because it's uh, it's probably the, it's the second best thing I've ever done after the lawsuit, after the lawsuit. But uh, I'm really excited about it. I can't believe they were. I got a I, recommendation. Go ahead. Sorry, when you when you get up to that bit, that bit where you say, "Well, if you hit the treadmill, you'd be at the front of the line." Pause it right there, and then slow the playback speed down to zero point two five speed. You will see her eyes dart back and forth around the room about six hundred <laughs> fucking times before she claims that she didn't hear what you said. It's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> um, I gotta find uh, her well. and buy her a nice new trough or something. That she's <laughs> and alive. Ralph, uh, uh, chat saying uh, check your DMs. Uh, Jim wants on. Check the D. Okay, I'll be. Ethan serious. Ralph, it's me, Medicare. <laughs> Jim, do you have any predictions for Ralph in I LA? I believe in the Holocaust. Yes. I wanted to ask you that. Well, I, you know, I, I, I'm afraid for Ralph because he's not going to have Coach there to save his life, right? But, <laughs> <laughs> who's going to run out to the street and save him? Oh, I don't. Yeah. Wow. That's true. Ralph, I'm not as protective as Coach Redfield. <laughs> I'll, just, I'll just let you get pulled in. <laughs> oh, well. Three more. I'll have to I'll have yes. to be on guard without coach's uh, guidance there uh, in Los Angeles. Oh man, yeah, that's coming up, man. Monday. This is where Monday. it all ends, Ralph. It's just a lemonade, trust me. <laughs> Sorry, Ralph. Hey Ralph, these you are just some pixie sticks. Just snort these. <laughs> <laughs> it's candy, Ralph. 
Oh, is that Rakita? <laughs> I see in the hangout. That is the Rakita. I was waiting. This is great. Yes. Everybody's in the same spot. I can apologize to everybody for fucking over <laughs> your subscriber platform. No, yeah, you really. son of a bitch. You better write me a check. What the hell's yeah. wrong with you? Yeah. <laughs> it's self in here. I can apologize to her too. Nick, how's it going, man? What's up? Hey, good, man. How are you? Pretty good, man. It's been one year since we were gone off YouTube. We have a big show going here. How you how you doing? What what's been going on with you? What's the burning let me just ask you this right off top. What's the burning issue on your mind or that has been on your mind the past seventy two hours? The burning issue on my mind the past seventy two hours. Uh shit. Um, well, I just took my wife to see Joker and I'm really Ooh. concerned that I turned her into an incel and now my <laughs> night is ruined. Uh, <laughs> is she talking about, uh, society and stuff? She's talking about you get yeah. what you fucking deserve. Is that, did she, did she utter that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. She keeps saying RRU. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, last night I read a, I read an article for, as part of my Halloween show. And it was, it was about this chick who apparently, um, she immediately joined the alt-right and became a racist after her boyfriend went to the gym. And I'm not even joking. That's how CNN <laughs> categorized it is her boyfriend started lifting weights and telling jokes. <laughs> and then suddenly they were both racist members of the alt-right. It was the greatest thing. Uh, that could have happened. So I'm I'm Makes a little sense. concerned. I, I listened to Jim before I joined the alt right. That's a, <laughs> that's that's a good one. But also the the oh they read books a lot. That that's another one that I've heard. Like oh they well they to read a lot of books. Like, these these guys were burning books. So I I don't know. They that was <laughs> a, that was apparently what they do is they they sit around burning books and listening to Richard Spencer. That was. I, I learned a lot from this article. It was very helpful. So I'm I'm concerned about that, and I'm also concerned for my children. That yeah, they will... I only listen to Richard Spencer while I'm working out. <laughs> oh, <my> man, <laughs> the really... effeminate lisp really powers me through those last couple of reps. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, uh, oh, now the the meth guys from Breaking Bad that I'm going to to be my new bank are really going to be upset that I said that. I'm going to have to apologize. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, I mean, that's been on my mind too. Just just the the nonsense that people have to deal with, um, particularly Dick here, trying to just uh, here let's just have a place where people can process credit card transactions. Oh nope, you you saw you said a joke once. Uh, too bad. Get out. <laughs> It's, that's always on my mind, though. So I don't know if that qualifies the last 72 hours. No, it's good enough. Clifford C. Clavin says, Dick, just ask the payment processors, are we cool? <laughs> uh, I'll try it. <laughs> uh, that person, Irwin, is their screen name. and something else, but I won't say. It says, Matt Jarbo loves the taste of Tyrone's hot loads. Cass, Cass Michael hmm. says, Dick's new co-host praised, praised the Deadspin Journos. Cass Michael says, I don't know what that's about, but whatever. Cass Michael says, as badass, he's a kick Vic SJW. Rob Mac 7733 says, Dick, how good is it to have the full doctor? It actually says Dr. Pill tape. Doctor it's fucking great, film. man. And they can't, it can't ever be scooped out of the internet again. That's the best yeah, part. Yeah, it's out there forever now. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's great. It's cringe and wonderful at the same time. Gordzilla 37 says, can we get an Australian version of Ram Ranch tonight? <laughs> Gordzilla 37 says, Wait, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, I do, no, by the way, I do want to say this. I do I do want to say this. I do want to do a Christmas Carol version of the kill stream this year. So I will I will put that out there uh, now while everybody's here to see if anybody's down. But I, I am thinking about doing uh, surrounding. Of course, we'll, we'll sing some of the Monday Matt songs, too, if that. If that actually happens, we have to I... sing fats. In this <laughs> yeah, panel. exactly. That's what I'm saying. Well, I mean, I'll, t I'll tell you what. I'll do a version of "I'm Dreaming of a White Christmas" <laughs> if you agree to do it in blackface. <laughs> <laughs> do it now. Wait, do what it. do what do I have do to it. sing in black? You're gonna sing though. What do I have to sing in blackface? Well, no, 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 no. You you just still be the image. I'll be the voice. <laughs> Uh, do I have to decide we'll get, right now? We'll get to paint you. <laughs> yeah, I have. Ex <laughs> Listen, I have experience in this field. <laughs> oh, 
Yeah, you know. I'll send you my resume and a portfolio of my work. If Nick's down to give me the expertise, then then I'll agree. How about that? <laughs> well, I'll, I'll compare notes and and figure out how to do it. Yeah. Okay. All right. We're down. That that'll be that'll be a great way to celebrate the birth of uh, baby Jesus. I feel like. Godzilla thirty seven says alt right is just a label for those that are. Uh, let's see. Gordzilla 37 says J aware. We're not going away. Ice Griffin says Richard CIA. Spencer hates Fuentes. Color me shocked. Sp Spanish Inquisition says shit wave speds have resorted to a logging flam. Sad. I haven't seen that, but yeah. Augie says, uh, the crew yeah, I don't know. Augie says the crew is back. Great to see. Fuck Goika. And when is Medicare doing his morning show again? Well, you see, I had a great morning show on this one oh. platform, but, you know, it was run by oh. fucking communists who couldn't handle oh. the banter, and they, they, they uh, you know, uh, made me exit from the platform. They actually, oh, the, you know, I actually, right. no, they fucked up. You Look, know, I actually, I, wait, 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 let me say this. Let me say this. Right after that happened, of course, I was asleep because I don't get up that early. <laughs> because I'm usually asleep by that time. <laughs> but anyway, so you I got up later. Feet. Yeah, I was asleep. But I got up later in the day, and the guy I talked to here on staff, he messaged me. He said, hey, can you can you message Jim? Like, what's going on? And, oh, it was a mistake and this and that. And I sent you by the end, of course. <laughs> Of course, by then it was too late. It's you know, a coincidence. I was just, yeah, I was like, oh man, you guys fucked up. I was like, you guys fucked up because I already know you're not the type. Like, oh, they kind of uh, just spit in your face, but just taking well, you, you off know, like the. Ah, oh, it's like, oh man. I love it. You There's got somebody, actually, you, you got somebody in your chance. Like, get over it. Well, fuck that. I'll just string nah, my hands nah, too. No, I was oh, like, I'm not that's not. Cut not my head on this. Uh, real, yeah. uh, but real, real, real quick, Jim. There is, there is a, there is a chance because they've been, uh, they've been paying some uh, more edgy content creators to like stream exclusively here now. I know uh, Seth Sintaj. Oh no, I'm, I'm aware of uh, what's going on behind the scenes. I had some of those exclusive content creators message me and say, like, I, I promised I won't say, but essentially apologizing <laughs> for a mistake. Yeah, that that's way. what they were trying to say to oh, me. Yeah. Like, oh, please tell them we're sorry. I was like, I don't think it's gonna do any. I mean, you're just, I mean, I would just say leverage it, get some money from them at this point. It's like, oh, yeah, I'll do it. Yeah, I was going to ask, money. is there any, how many like, hats are they going to have to buy? Now, yeah. Is is there a way that you would stream on DLive again, or was that just such, I, you know, I mean, I was enjoying it. You know, I was, I was doing my little morning show. It started off as like 500 people watching. I got up to like three, 3,000 after a month or so. And, you know, we didn't fuck with anybody, we stayed in our little hole. Yep. You know what I mean? Like we we weren't trying to get on the front page. We didn't go bother other streamers. You weren't sniping people on. Yeah. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I just wanted to be left. Uh, I, this is why I miss stream me. I, they just they didn't give a shit. <laughs> they let's do whatever. Really. Um. Now you know I I I guess I shouldn't burn bridges, but uh, fuck it. Hand me the kerosene. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I knew I knew they fucked uh, up, and I was like, oh man, what are you guys doing? And it was over something dumb. I someone, forgot. I, actually, I forgot exactly what it was over. Now, what was the what was the reasoning that they gave again? Uh, well, I heard a couple of different reasons. For oh that. no, I know what it was. Oh, oh, I, I know what it was because I re <laughs> I restreamed. Um, How the was, fuck I, do you no, know? I was, uh, <laughs> no, no, I do, I do, I do because um, I was restreaming Jim's um, his post stream after he got kicked off of D-Life. He did the YouTube stream right afterwards. It's because you were going after um, uh, Razor, oh, yeah, whatever the fuck rapist. his name is, the, the rapist, because he, you know, yeah. you were talking about sexual assault, not like endorsing it. You were going after a person who was like clearly a person. Oh, yeah, oh, you're, yeah, you're, that's you're, right. tell you're telling me they banned me for going after a rapist. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. I hope you learned your lesson. Oh, yeah, I learned my lesson. Uh, be because I got, I got, um, <laughs> because when I was restreaming it, I got like, I got angry DMs from the staff there. It's like, hey, you, you can't be doing that. It's like, oh, okay, so this is what it was. Yeah, but yeah. they reversed on that immediately. I don't know. No, it's no, just a shame. Did. I mean, that, yeah, that is fair. They did. You know, they tried to get a hold of me within the, the next day or so and tried to apologize. I get it. Yeah, um, but if up. if Bitchute ever allows streaming, I'm never leaving Bitchute. Oh, oh man, BitChute. Yeah. I was going to ask you about uh, BitChute yeah. uh, because I've been uploading. There's there's quite a decent audience on BitChute now. Uh, uh, yeah, it's, that, it's that, really that, been that, taken off. It's yeah, not I, like it was. There's a good there's a good base there. Yeah, go ahead. Well, yeah, I mean, I've, I've heard other people from like YouTube say, oh, you're not going to get any views. But I mean, I, I've had a oh, couple shit. videos go over 100,000 now over there. So, I mean, there are definitely people over there watching. 
Yeah, I mean, it's still not also noticed. necessarily where it needs to be, but, like, the audience, is it's not just, you know, it's not well, ghost it's, town over it's there now. I mean, I, I can go watch yeah. somebody make a fucking joke. I can watch Murdoch Murdoch. Uh, people are putting up whatever the fuck they want, really, as, as long as it's not egregiously illegal. Uh, but yeah. pretty yes. we, we saw your video, Jim. We know you can put up. <laughs> yeah, you know, I was going to ask you. You've really been enjoying I you uh, away with you that shit. Has it kind of sparked like a... Um, relationship. Like your, I don't, I don't know how you would say it, but kind of just uh, oh, yeah, sparked are. your creativity, made it more fun. Now that you can say a little bit more of what you want, put and this now, joke now that in. I can and use not... the words that I want to use. Yeah, yeah. Now that I can put the, well, I mean, yeah, because now I get to do dolphin porn. Now I get to show you how <laughs> fucked up furries really are and not have to explain it. I can show you these degenerate fur fags doing the shit they do. Exactly. Oh, I'm you sorry. Is that it? Did you appreciate? <laughs> did you did get you a lemon penalty, having... penalty for me saying that? I'm sorry. <laughs> fur frick. We call them fur fricks. I'm sorry. Uh, Thought it was fur figs. Yes, figs. It, that's that's our workaround Wait, lately. Ralph, did you just ask him if posting a picture of a uh, tranny getting their dick cut up has really sparked his creativity? Is that what you? <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty creative. Well, when you think about it, trans surgery is pretty hot. It's highly fucking creative. It's pretty hot. Is that what you said, Ren? <laughs> <laughs> that was a Freudian slip. Whoa! It was it, it was a it was a Freudian slut right there. But uh, Tim, <laughs> did you appreciate having having Bitchute personally tweet out? We don't recommend anyone watch your video. But that, <laughs> I, well, I, yeah, I, I love the fact that they did that. You know, um, yeah, it, it's really relaxed. I, I mean, yeah, if you're gonna go there to try to do something illegal, they're not gonna let you do it. But if you want to laugh at fucked up shit, they're not gonna care. All right, let me read this. Seneca Chief says, "Which one of you would win a drinking contest?" Ralph. Ralph. No, I'm really... Ralph. <laughs> well, what what, what, so, right what are we defining the winning condition That's as? That's terrible. They, they <laughs> give me the win. They give me the win. I'm like Floyd Mayweather retired, and they try to give me the victory. Oh man. <laughs> That's not a good analogy. Floyd Mayweather keeps coming out of retirement. <laughs> I mean, it's <laughs> probably true, but still. All right. Reno Miles says, didn't Noel have his credit card stripped from him? I didn't see. All I know, what is going yeah. on with Noel exactly? I know I, I I messaged him before the show. I know he's had some problems in Ukraine or whatever. I think he left Ukraine. I don't know exactly. He um, has some problems stateside with a, a grand jury subpoena. Yeah, but I was going to really? try to get him on the show, and he's not, you know, he's not where he used to be and stuff. So. Well, well, I caught I caught part of his uh, stream where he went into it, and like from what I can gather, is he's had people uh, DDoS him, and like it's a very um, dedicated person, so he's had to since start kind of uh, tracking, I guess, like users on the site, and because of that, now like federal prosecutors want him to relinquish the details of that and he can't delete it because that would be destroying evidence so he's like he's kind of pissed off about that i watched um i watched niles last stream and uh he he didn't have he didn't have a lot of kind words for the united states government i gotta say he said something along the lines of um in regards to him being subpoenaed isn't it interesting how they make more grandiose demands as their power on the world stage wanes Uh -oh. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's don't gonna commit say. suicide soon no. oh no don't say that oh. Nurex, Nurex says hey dick the new news babe is a real peach uh, oh yeah know. she's amazing she's upstairs too I should probably get back to her uh, <laughs> Null yes. no, I, I think I lost a merchant account on uh, on Null's shirts because I ran I ran them through there there was no problems with it whatsoever and then immediately after they ended uh the bank terminated that account that was Bank of America um it's really wild I don't know what to, I don't know what to make of it because everything that comes out is in a black box um and we're talking about selling t-shirts so like no one cares no one no one can possibly understand it but they got some kind of checklist and he's he's on it um I don't know maybe Trump's going to send a dog after no, if he if he keeps it up, but <laughs> he's just he's uh, monitoring the situation. Yeah. Reno Did you Mom. guys ever go ahead. think yeah, go ahead. that like uh, I mean, isn't it weird to be part of something that is so threatening to the largest credit card to the largest like financial powers on the earth 
that they have to shut down your shit posting t-shirt sales? Like, I mean, honestly, no, <laughs> because I remember being a kid and teachers like having meetings with my parents. Like this guy's just making too many jokes. Like he's got to stop it. We got to have a meeting about this guy's fucking jokes. Like, yeah, it's just always, it's always, now it's the government having meetings with my bank about too many fucking jokes. It's always been this way. Uh, I don't think it'll ever change, but. Uh, but like, they won't shut down the credit card of, you know, like Syria. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> yeah. But your t-shirts, man. Or like, rapists, like convicted rapists with DNA. They can walk into a Chase branch and open up a fucking credit, open up a fucking savings account, but not me. <laughs> well, I mean, why would they? Why would they want to deny credit card processing to such an austere uh, Islamic uh, theologian? Why? Why would they ever do that? Good point. Reno Miles says, "Jim, come back to D Live, man. Stop being gay and edgy." Well, yeah, uh, yeah. Let me. I'll, I'll be right back. Hold your breath. <laughs> that's how. You, that's how it'll work. <laughs> Ice Griffin says, "Jim, you have give to me beat a, him reason. In a breath holding contest." Ice Griffin says, "Jim, give me a reason to wake up in the morning." Nurak says, God damn it, I'm going to say it again. RIP stream me. Uh, Hawaiian oh. noises. Let's see. With the pumpkin, Mr. Lister says, send all zoo files to the dolphin caves. And I think. Well, they'd like I that. I don't know. Yes, we... say that. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's take a caller. Oh, my God. Oh, what is Bronx Blogger wants to call in? Oh, oh boy. No, we're having we're having fun. Don't bring on Blanc. I love Israel and the Jews. I mean, making queer, fun of queer, Bronx little queer. Please fun. put it in my rear. <laughs> I, I think you should have him on. I mean, we're we are having Do fun. You think and so? He'll bring he'll bring some positivity to the situation. All right, why not? <laughs> Bronx blogger, welcome. Oh, he <laughs> oh, he left. <laughs> Whoops. I love queer. Oh, the people's internet sucks oh, again. He's back in. He's back in. All right, let's try him again. Mm, that's right. how he got sick. Bronx blogger. <laughs> oh my god. Am I, am I on? Yes. You saw a twelve-year-old. He had to. Run. No, you're just. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what happened? Oh There's a twelve-year-old somewhere in the AFK. He's hunting for him right now. Oh. <laughs> well, Christ. we'll we'll have to try him again. Anyway. Data in society's finest. Uh, Kropotkin, go ahead. You're on the kill stream. Oh, okay. All right. Best call yet. Ethan, Ralph, it's me, Medicare. <sighs> I love queers and homosexuals. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that. Bronx blogger, go ahead. <laughs> Bronx, speak! Okay, yes, stream you did. I gotta, I gotta use push to talk, man. I what the fuck? Turn talk. that Holy shit shit. off. What's your problem? Push, push to receive AIDS. <laughs> No, oh, then he dropped okay, right again. Oh, come on. I left again. What the fuck? Metal Gear wants to tell you something. Believe I don't me. know what's weaker, his connection or his T cells. No, come on. All right, Agent Smirnoff. Oh, no, go ahead. Uh, <laughs> where did Smirnoff go, by the way? Did he just completely drop out when I tried to bring him on? He, right, did. he did. He did. Out. What the fuck? Reloaded AK, go ahead. You're on the kill stream. Oh, hey, hey guys. I don't have Hello. too much tonight. I just wanted to mention what? What I miss? Nothing. Speak. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, uh sorry, I had to meet the stream. Um I didn't have too much tonight and I wanted to mention that uh, HN just posted a few minutes ago on Twitter about them maybe may maybe oh, Yeah, tomorrow. maybe tomorrow morning. Yeah, maybe oh, tomorrow morning. Shit. Didn't know if you I guys wanted to talk about that day. for a bit about, oh, you know, shit. Jim and uh the 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 biggest roller in the in the the business, <laughs> Hot Wheels, the biggest so, roll. That's, you know, oh. the biggest, biggest roll in the business. Oh, thank uh, you. I can hear an electronic scooter powering up in the distance already. Thank you, Reload. I appreciate hey. that, man. Oh, no problem. Have a good night, guys. Now here's the tweet uh, from A Chan, the Infinite Chan account. Migration is still ongoing. Some boards have a lot of content. Existing accounts for boards that are already migrated should work just the same if everything goes right tomorrow morning might be it board migration will continue after the launch uh that is from uh, their official twitter account what do you think uh jim <laughs> i actually wanted to hear you weigh in on this about how dedicated hot wheels uh has been to to try to keep them 
uh, off, I, I don't know if off the air is the right word or, you know, well, offline. Yeah, there, there, there's been a lot of bad blood between, obviously, Watkins and uh, Frederick. Uh, the thing that I that I found weird is, and, and I'm wondering if what's kind of pushing this on to go as long as it has, is didn't he go to meet with somebody who was a representative of NT Technologies? Yeah. And my thought is that they had they came to an agreement where they would do something but not try to reuse the name. But when they came back as Aitkun, I think that pissed him off so much that he's like, well, if you're not going to honor our agreement, I'm just going to fucking try to wipe you out. Yeah, because that's what I thought, because uh, Frederick, uh, you know, slash Hot Wheels posted some tweets about it and he posted some audio. I forgot the guy's name, uh, but it's somebody with NT, you know, Jim Watkins, his whole his whole group there that works there. And he posted that audio and it seemed like I don't know that he would say things were cool, but it was more of like a ceasefire or whatever. And then all of a sudden he just went on this, you know, it's well, yeah, like, it was like a day or two after that, that they said, oh, we're going to come back as uh, yeah. an eight, an eight coon. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, he's and the, then he's been hitting the Q thing really hard. Like he's he's speculating that uh, uh, Q on eight chan is actually wa- not Watkins, but uh, some guy. What was the news outlet that he's connected to? Huh. <laughs> Wait, you mean Watkins? So they got him doing double duty. When the feds hired him, they said, we need you to keep 8chan down and push the QAnon. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm sorry. What Goldwater. Watkins had a site called Goldwater. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gold, Goldwater. That's what I'm saying. Uh, no, I, uh, yeah, because that's what Hot Wheels has been saying, is that Q on 8chan is the guy that runs the Goldwater. Oh, okay. Mm. No, I didn't realize he was actually saying that. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, there's uh, been a ton of back and forth. I've been, I've been watching this shit, watching them just go at each other. They get a new provider. He takes it down. It's been going on for like a month. Yeah, so they took him out. So they tried to host in China. There was a couple other places. I think they tried to use Russia, too, and that got shut down. I don't know what they're actually using now. Uh, I would have to see what what Hot Wheels. Oh, look, it actually pops up. Let me see if he's tweeted. It was some Russian uh, thing. Selectal or something like that was the person they went to. They tried Tencent, and they tried a couple others. Yeah, that was the last one. I think was the was the Russian one. Uh, all right, let's let's take some more calls and and we'll see. Let's see. Uh, Will be you're on the kill stream. Go ahead. Hey. Uh, hey. Let me mute the stream. Okay. Uh, so I have a question for Jim, and then I was uh dared to say something. It's not bad, but it's pretty funny. Okay. So, uh, do you think that Epstein is connected to the entire Finders thing? I, I don't know if he's connected to the finders thing per se, but I, I'm pretty sure that he's probably doing something very similar to what they were doing and probably connected to certain people that may have been involved in that. All right. Thank you. And then I, all I have left is this. All right. Thank you, caller. appreciate it. <laughs> oh, damn. So, go ahead. Damn. First. You're on that the kill cold. stream. Hey, can that you hear me? Cold. Yes, go ahead. I got a question for Dick and Jim. Uh, what's your favorite football team? And if it's not the Chiefs, why are they better than the Chiefs? <laughs> oh wow, mine's the Raiders because I'm Mexican. So they, if you're if you're not into the Raiders, then uh, they revoke your card. Uh, they're dirty. They used to be dirty in an old time NFL that w- that could be dirty, uh, but now they're just losers. So. Mm. <laughs> and Jim. Uh, yeah, I'm not even a football guy. I, I'm just I'm a I'm a pathetic little weeaboo neat, and I play my video games. <laughs> so I'm the wrong oh, person. Manga, you weeb. I know it's terrible. Go Pats! Eight no, Chief sucks. Sunset. All right, all right. Thank you. I appreciate you calling in to this. As Passionate always. sports foul crowd. <sighs> Chiefs are hurting a little. You're gonna find him hanging from the bathroom. Chiefs are hurting just a little bit. All right. Let's... Oh, Bronx got frustrated and quit. <laughs> Oh. Oh. Just like his white cell count. I knew that was- <laughs> <laughs> so if, if you don't like sports ball, then I guess the next question is, who's your favorite uh, Mario Kart uh, Carter? <laughs> my, my favorite Mario Kart Carter? Well, I probably Bowser because I like I like watching that fat ass just whip around a uh, fucking track. There you go. There you go. It's just like the Chiefs. Donkey Kong for sure. <laughs> All right. Let's uh gee, I'm surprised. <laughs> you say you like watching a big gorilla ride things, bro? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey. Yes, <laughs> sadly, wow, that is, that, that is sad, sad, sadly Nick, we've made three attempts to get the big gorilla that likes riding things on the Nicholas, show. And it keeps that out. is disgusting. Where did that come from? Wow. I what are you talking about? I'm just I stating facts. Bro. I mean, I didn't <laughs> I never thought about it in those terms. 
Nurak All right, says, guys, I got to get out of here. My debit yeah. card's ev evaporating <laughs> in my wallet. I'm going to go. <laughs> I'm going to go door go to door. Use and it. Open you those only free have a few hours left before they them. cancel all that shit. Yeah, oh, I gotta, I gotta live like a human while living is still good before they, come, before I just wake up in a mattress in a lot <laughs> and they take my house away. Uh, Ralph, I can't wait to see you now. Yes. legally shit yes. in the street. But before I'll see you soon. Before you go, you, you like before you. I go, before you go, Dick was, yeah. uh, was creating a super successful podcast and making uh, out of you your plans. <laughs> was this all just like one? like long convoluted scheme to get your hands on the Dr. Phil tapes to get yes. like, people that would find him. Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to quit. I'm just going to stop now that the tapes are out. <laughs> it's actually just part of my plan to meet that, that beautiful, that beautiful uh, rotund woman who challenged me. No one had ever challenged me like that on the stage before. And, and none has ever challenged <laughs> me since. I just want to meet her. I want to get this word out there so I can meet her, take her to dinner, uh, caress her supple wrists. Uh, ask her how her life has been for the last ten years. That's she'll, that's my that's my long. She'll plan. put it down so hard. You right. will, will you take? You will you finally one take one. those sunglasses off for her? <laughs> <laughs> no, I will give for the love making. You're saying I'll give her a pair of aviators. That's what that's what I'll do. <laughs> well, it probably is by now a highway to the danger zone, so that's appropriate. Yeah. Uh, congratulations. Ralph on your death Thank anniversary. Thank you. Death I appreciate day. that, man. See you soon, man. Have a good one. Yeah, see you guys. See you guys. All right, Take it later, buddy. Yeah. All right, let's see here. Uh, according to a according to a, a friend of mine who's DMing me, apparently Sargon called in to Gorka's show. No. Uh, did, did, did he oh boy. Wait, he's dead. what? The joke is dead. No, no he's come on, it can't be. Uh, I'm, I'm waiting for I'm waiting for clips or anything, but if uh, if it shows up, I'll I'll definitely post it in. But he's saying, I'm yeah, really he's holding in. out hope that Sargon somehow runs for parliament because they're about to have an election. Oh, I've weekend. got an update for you. I've got an Do update you. for you on that, by the way. Please uh, tell yes. me. Uh, well, uh, yeah. I, I'm sad to announce that he is officially leaving the Yuka party. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> By the Apparently way, they, they were mature. Oh, they were on volition, I'm sure. <laughs> they were mature enough. Oh, depends on the age of the party. I see. <laughs> well, he had, he had to leave. You know what? You know what they were acting like. No, oh, God, like damn it, of... God damn it, God damn it. No, I no. I was going for it, and you fucking saw it. Look, <laughs> he literally, not even joking, he actually killed the UK party. This is not even, you know, just for God, if only somebody, had, if only somebody had warned him ahead of time. <laughs> <laughs> remember when? Remember when he was bragging and saying, "Oh, look at all these people joining the party and check out the polls." You could well, you know, I'll high. tell you, I'll tell you this much, Ralph. I, I remember a lot of fat fucking retards on Twitter <laughs> telling me, "Hey, Jim, Sargon's gonna be a big boy in the in Parliament. You can't do shit about him. He's gonna be a big politician, Jim." <laughs> well, where'd they go? Oh, the diabetes got him, didn't it? You skeptic fucking morons. Oh man! <laughs> you guys just don't understand. This dishes, is all part of Jim. the twenty-year plan. This is—we're only on year three right now. We've got seventeen years to go. Just think about oh, it. Yeah. I, started, I started to get an inkling that this whole thing yeah. wasn't going to work out when I was looking at the photos of I am Kekistan, and there was a whole bunch of guys who didn't need to wear a poo bear costume to be night entry to BlizzCon. He killed they an were, entire uh, political <laughs> party. Anyway. He killed an entire political party that had seats in the European Parliament. That polled and like God. anywhere from ten to fifteen percent. He completely buried the party. Now it's an afterthought, and it's a direct result. I don't know. It's I, I know it's, it's 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 such a fucking funny story. Yeah, they lost. They, they <laughs> lost. He actually killed it. I mean, it's all not their even, seats. Yeah, they lost their leader too. <laughs> it got replaced I, I, pretty I much by the Brexit party. Yeah, go ahead. I don't wish ill upon Carl. I hope he gets that dopamine one day. No, I mean it's oh, just think, uh, astonishing how quickly. He did I mean, it. really, Ralph. Like all he's known for are his comments, and then telling people in interviews that both he and his wife were raped. <laughs> <Did you, laughs> by the way, did you see Jess Phillips the other day? Brought him up again on the on the Parliament <laughs> floor. Uh, yeah. We played it a couple of days ago. She actually brought him up again uh, because she wants reform on who can stand for elections over there in the UK. You know, campaign electoral reform or whatever. And she cited, she said, we, ha we had a candidate uh, this past, whatever, May, uh, standing for election whose biggest claim to fame was that uh, he wouldn't, he claimed he wouldn't rape me. 
or whatever. No, she said if he would or would not rape me. If he would or would not rape me, yeah. <laughs> Potential rape me. Yeah. Yeah. She's still dropping he, him he, in. He, uh, That's a terrible... Are considering that now? It's a terrible argument because he was so soundly defeated by the public. Why would you need to ban him? From yeah, anything? that's what I don't understand. I don't know. That's so dumb. I mean, unless he's been because charged he's or convicted. Yeah. <laughs> Touche. I mean, if, if anything, his political opposition should be encouraging him to join. The yeah, party to to say. He's a death knell. Imagine if he joined the conservative party. That was actually my advice at the beginning, but whatever. He didn't take it. Zycon so Steve's... apparently. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, I was about to say, so apparently uh, this is actually before all the Nick stuff, but Carl, we, we have the uh, the Carl Benjamin clip in the, uh, oh, in the show links. Oh, and no, we don't have that. Oh, but, no, oh. but here's the funny here's the funny thing. They've actually scrubbed this part from their YouTube channel, not like anything <laughs> before that. And I'm wondering Wait. if it's because of his uh, actually Sargon? Uh, run. Are you, telling me, are you telling me Seb Gorka, of all fucking people, is so embarrassed by Carl he erased the interview? No, wait. This yes. is real. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is real? Hold on. Let yeah. Me, let me pull it up. Give me a sec. All right. Uh, I have it over here. Let me put it in the in the chat. It's not very long, though. All right. yeah, it's only he, must have, he must have found it disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's the reason why. Yeah. Okay. There goes the link. Uh. Okay. There it is in the sidebar. It's like 41 seconds, I believe. You guys ready? Oh yes, I am. Yep. Yeah. Yep. All right. Let's play it right now. If by some unholy miracle Donald Trump doesn't win in 2020, which at the mean, at the moment it looks like he's a shoe in, so I don't I'm not too worried about it. But That's him. I don't like to lean all in one direction because I feel like I'm missing something on the other side. Mm -hmm. uh, but if if oh, by it looks some like miracle he's taking he loses, um, I think a lot of people will become despondent and think, well, that's it. It was all over. Uh, you know, Donald Trump was the last chance that we had. And I don't think that's true. I don't think he is the last. I think he's the first in a line of people who will come after him to continue to try and restore the sovereignty of, of the English-speaking peoples. Because I really think that that's what it's coming down to. Holy shit, he's basically trying to plug himself. He tried to present himself as uh, oh, a yeah. British mm. Donald Trump. <laughs> there he I is. mean, he is two degrees of separation people. away from Trump. That's true. All right, let's oh, yeah, see. remember when he said that? When he was bragging about maybe interviewing Trump on his fucking gay YouTube channel. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> I've, I've met Nigel Farage in person, and Nigel Farage has met Trump in person. I'm only one degree of separation away from Trump, you know? I love but, the fact that he, he was so proud of meeting Nigel, and then Nigel just shit on him. Oh, dude, that <laughs> absolutely was the best. Shit on the, the thing that always <laughs> sticks in my mind is how he said, absolute legend. Absolute legend, mate. You, you know, Nigel? He's an absolute legend. Yeah, I know, Nigel. Sorry. And then he just, was, like you said, he just pissed all over him, just completely... This guy's scum. Oh man, that when he was on, that, I forget that what the morning so show many was. Times too. Oh, he quoted, no. he quoted some comedian. He was like, "Oh, this guy's so great," and then that comedian <laughs> shit on him too. It's just like, <laughs> it's just like he's <laughs> scum. He doesn't belong in polite society. Nigel Farage particularly took delight in just kicking the fuck out of him. It was vile. Um, I, I have an anecdotal story about that. So you know, Nigel Farage um, did did come to Australia about a, about a year or so ago um, to do a do a talking tour, and um, some people I know met him, and uh, he was at a bar, you know, he was drinking oh, beer, yeah. you know, good English lad drinking beer. Now this was a couple of months before Nigel Farage actually went actually teed off on Sargon, so I had a bit of bit of forewarning about it because the lads asked him about it and said, so what do you what do you reckon about this Carl Benjamin character? And they said, and I'm going to try and quote it as best as it was related to me, Nigel Farage rolled his eyes up to the ceiling, picked up his pint glass, drank everything that was left in it, put it back down on the table and said, look, I'm here to talk about politics. <laughs> Damn. Not the clown show. Oh, that is like, such it, it's such a unique story like right ralph like i've, I've never I seen can't. anything like that a party get brought down that so fast, quickly that oh it's so it was so quick and so brutal and then 
Yeah. Oh, I remember what's his name, Batten, Gerard Batten, after the after the election, he's just like, yeah, that wasn't. You know what? Turns out that wasn't helpful to to do the whole. So, so Sargon in the middle of completely getting just lit on fire and decimated in the middle of, of all that he made another joke about raping her that was even worse than the first one that he made <laughs> yeah. where, oh, where yeah. he said where he said oh yeah you know if there's enough beer oh, maybe i could yeah good point or whatever yeah maybe i'll fans. rape her yeah, was like, <laughs> was oh, he in no. gibraltar when he <laughs> from that no. yeah yeah he yeah. was yeah he was on yeah he was on location I, I remember he was standing in front like on some kind of bridge in front of the water or whatever. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think it was, that, that was just there. after Batten said, well, we, I've talked to Carl and he, <laughs> yeah. he acknowledges yeah. it was the best decision. And then he goes right into, well, if he got me drunk enough, I'd fuck the bitch. <laughs> <laughs> just unreal, man. I couldn't. <laughs> what a fucking imbecile. And completely just, the party's <laughs> dead. Oh, man. And then I, I remember, so Faraj, originally Faraj was just going to take back control over the, over UKIP. And so he basically kind of applied to be leader again or whatever, and they shot him down and said he wasn't qualified. So he just went and started up his own party. I mean, the Brexit party is pretty much, they pretty much just took UKIP's entire voter share and everything yeah. good about UKIP, and then UKIP's just sitting over there known as the rape party. It's just like, a hey, broken would you, husk. Would you like to captain this vessel? Oh, yeah. you mean the one that's already submerged at the harbor? Just no thanks, I think I'll build my own boat. Broken husk known as the rape party over here and nothing going on whatsoever. And you kept, luckily for Raj, you know, had no ties to you kept during the period where they were the rape party, so he's good. Well, so it's, the, it's the rape debate party. He's still not sure if he would or That's would true. not rape her. It's Schrodinger's rape. <laughs> He's considering it. He's not really know. committed to it, though. Until the thing they meet is, face to face and he has those beers, we want Jess to Phillips out. is actually one of the most detestable members of parliament. By far, yeah. You managed. You managed <laughs> like, to make you Jess Phillips a, 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 a character, you know, a sympathetic figure. No, like, yeah. yeah, that that's that's a remarkable feat. That's like She's making a terrible. gynecologist gag. If like, you ever, you know, like, yeah, if, you, if you've ever, if you've ever actually listened to Jess Phillips, and we have played her on the show before, she really is annoying and terrible, and just wait, the isn't most... that the, uh, the 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 British milkers lady? Oh, I don't know um, if I wanted that'd be sour milk. Nah, yeah, I'm not, I don't think you'd want the. I don't think <laughs> Wait, you'd want the. Wait, did we, didn't we see those giant milkers on stream? Let, let me let no, me define British rancid. Let me define British so. breasts for you: bananas with nipples on the end. Yeah. Uh, I don't. I don't think we saw the Phillips milkers. Um, who Who are you referring Thankfully. to? No. Blessedly, no, no, we saw somebody who was talking about, uh, you know, the guy debating <laughs> whether or not he would or wouldn't rape her. And uh, we had a discussion about her giant fucking British knockers. I mean, the real the real trouble with the party. Nick, <laughs> <laughs> save us, please. I don't know what he's talking about. I swear. I don't know what he means. He does. Please. He does know. No. We had a whole discussion about Nick, using attorney, her knockers. Attorney, like attorney, a, please. Uh, I know nothing. I don't know what he means. Yeah, yeah, like, now I know why. Yeah, now I, yeah, now I know why. Is this a dream? Uh, Lawyer, I please. Stroke? I don't know anything. No, actually, I remember this conversation now. No. <laughs> oh, no. I don't know any of these guys. <laughs> Fuck that. Get out. Someone, someone in the chat said, "What about Merkel's? Uh, what about Merkel's titties?" And I'm thinking, if you squeeze on them, like dust would just fucking erupt out. <laughs> oh, was it Joe Swinson? Who the fuck's Joe Swinson? Well, somebody said it was Joe Swinson. Wait, wait, you're saying you, okay? You guys were talking about Joe sucking Swin a dude's tits. <laughs> Joe Swinson no, is actually. No. Oh, that's who it was. Okay. Joe Swinson is the is the leader of the Liberal Democrats. That was the one you were talking about, Bibble. Joe Swinson is the leader of the Lib Dems, yeah. I believe you agreed to making a no, Mrs. Cradle out of her tits. I did not. No, that's not true. <laughs> okay, well. I didn't agree we'll to that. To that's to not true. That's not true. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to go back to the tape. That's just not true, I'm afraid. But it is a hot outside. Oh <laughs> shit! <laughs> fucking dark mode when they go already. Fucking wow. Huh? Yes. 
Well, we can just keep hollering over each other all day. You were trying to say something, Nick. I apologize. <laughs> oh, no, that was fine. I'm not going to bother. <laughs> let's just go back to talking about let's go back to talking about UK politicians tits speaking of which I think Sargon is the best pair of all of them <laughs> Zycon it, Steve, it's fine pair of tits Zycon Steve in the Lino chat says Bibble did you go trick or treating in the suburbs <laughs> yeah the nice ones <laughs> mm. <laughs> So, Bibble, when you go trick-or-treating, do you like, uh, no, I don't want any candy. Let me see them feet. No, I, I go with, and I ask for the candy, and then uh, they ask what I, what I am because I'm a full-grown man, and I say I, I'm a guy that breaks into people's houses when they don't want candy. Yeah. <laughs> every, time a, every time a black man turns up to a suburban home unannounced, it's never a treat. It's always a trick. <laughs> Kiosk Man says Jimco pills are the best black pills. Let's see. Shin Chen 256B says worried about LSU next week, Ralph. Go Tigers. Not that worried. Uh, but yes, there is a big game next week. I won't actually probably be able to see it live because I'm going to be watching Logan Paul versus KSI. So I have to check the score on my phone. Uh, but I will I will stay up to date on that football game for sure. Yellow Lantern 15419. Got a one month subscription from Rosanoff. Let's see here. T dubs four two five with a diamond. Rebel Celt with a diamond. Mike Hancho resubbed. Nurak says, Can we see the pick of Sargon getting fish thrown at? Uh I don't know that I have that right off top, but if somebody has oh, he did get a fish sardines. thrown at him. I heard about that. Yes. Yeah, I'll find it real quick. Yeah, that's the classic. Yeah, I, I'd offer to get it for you, but it's hung and framed on my wall. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it really is amazing how that whole, oh, his whole experience in, in electoral politics just complete disaster. Start to it's finish. in the but show. But it did right? get worse. Oh, Gator found it. Yeah. You A could dead. say it was very short. Oh, nasty, brutish, and <laughs> short. That's short. what you would say. Holy shit, this pitch is amazing. Let me see if I can pull this up real quick. Yeah, it is pretty good. Hold on. Oh, what is that? What? So, Jim, have you been? Oh, following look at this! The, uh... Look at look at this! The 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 Chad high res Gator versus the Virgin low res flamenco there in the family. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! But I was gonna ask Jim, has he been following the uh, the Destiny drama? Uh, no, I know. I, I knew a little bit about it. I mean, I've been kind of caught up in the, the Blizz thing and then the Fuentes thing. Uh, kind of like the last stuff outside of that would have been what was going on with Nick. And uh, is it Mad Black Atheist or Entertainment? Yes. Mad Black yes. Atheist, I think. Yeah, or both. Didn't he use it's, both? It's, yeah. he, he has like 12 channels. Yeah. Uh, well, now he's just now he's just uh, the commission or something, which he completely ripped off from a game company. He just stole all of their IP to make his channel. So that's great. Is he, is he still coming after you, or did he stop finally? No, he stopped. Uh, I think I think he got a phone call. I think from the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation, which um, which told him, <laughs> which told him to stop. You know, threatening to murder entire towns online. <laughs> just just yeah, not a good <laughs> plan. It's <laughs> probably a good idea. Well, he also ripped off. Uh, he ripped off his uh, gay little LARPing group, the League of Villains, from like a, 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 an anime. Yeah, that's yeah, not in real water. What's in Naruto? You no, know, it's uh, My Hero Academia. Yeah, he's uh, he doesn't seem to have much in the way of personal creativity. We'll say. Yeah, uh, well, yeah he said he was going to. Didn't he tell you, Ralph, that he was going on like vacation, never coming back? Yeah, and, and then a he week was. Later, like two days later, he was. Not back. even a week. Yeah, I was about to say, two days later, he was filing DMCAs and putting out new videos and. Now he's back. I don't know. I haven't talked to him since, but yeah, he told me on stream he was he was going to go away for a while. Him and his family had to move because his address was out there now. And yeah, so I, he, I love that. By the way, he tried to come off as a victim after he basically yeah. was saying he was going to kill next kids. I'm he said it was it was because he was black too. That was part of it. I don't know if you caught that, but yeah. yeah You're going to learn to duck, D. <laughs> <laughs> you. Well, we also learned that anime really? was also <laughs> anime was also more racist than racism. Uh, well, that was right. good. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the anime crowd racist completely. They never really accepted him. 
because he was black or something like that. I don't know. But I actually, it, uh, Nick, I, I, I'm it, not quite sure that was the primary factor. <laughs> Nick, do you mind if I ask you a question uh, about something I saw like two weeks ago? Sure. Um, so there's this article that came out about a town down in Texas where this uh, kind of like good old boy, non-qualified guy got made a magistrate or a judge. I, I don't know how it works down there. Um, but basically, he was running his courthouse and letting uh, people that collect debts, like, set rules. So he, the debt collectors would tell the judge, we want you to add a $50 fine on if they don't show up. Uh, we want you to issue uh, arrest warrants if, they, uh, if there's a failure to show up to pay a debt. And they're doing it. <laughs> that's fantastic good good job we want debtors prison back apparently <laughs> or, yeah that's the thing but i mean it, it, it's literally doing that one per or one lady on facebook said that um when she got a surgery performed at the hospital that the, this lawyer is hired to that's making the judge do this stuff um that they got a debt collection notice two weeks after getting out of the hospital before the hospital even sent the bill wow so, um, wow. How, how legal is it? Because it seems like there's some crazy shit going on in this town. Yeah, that's I I'm not familiar with the situation. I'll uh, I'll look into it. I have no idea. Uh, it, judges oh. are elected in Texas. Okay. Um, so but the, there's typically some sort of requirement on it. Um, and to let them just run roughshod. The, the problem of ultimately with with the way we do judging at all levels is that uh, eventually they say, well, there's an appeals court above us, right? They let them resolve it. If as long as it's not something impeachable, um, it'll get resolved by the appeals court, which of course is ridiculous, especially if you're asking people who are going through debt collection to the point where they're going to jail for it um, to suddenly pay for, you know, an extra step of process. Oh, they're going to but, jail for uh, $300 bills. These are like, oh, you know, <laughs> like, you know, 300 bucks. And then they'll add a $50 fee on for not showing up and arrest you, put you in jail. And then when you pay bail, they don't give you the bail money back. Uh, they give it to the debt collector. Yeah, it's beautiful. I mean, what a great system. <laughs> yeah, I'll send you, I'll send you. Like, I didn't know if you had heard about it, but I was like, holy shit, this can't be, this can't be on the level. There's gotta be something going on. I, I haven't heard of it. I do know, uh, I, I have a connection to a pretty big debt collection firm down in down in Texas, so maybe I can get someone on there to uh, to kind of talk about what's going on. I'll see what yeah. I can do. Cool, thanks, man. Yeah, right. of course. L let me read these. Colonel J in the stream element says, "Hey Jim, is it even hot outside?" Probably not. It's a little a little humid out there. <laughs> <laughs> Skull Kid says, "Sending support to the one, the only kill stream. Also a little shilling. Do you like metal?" Like songs about cultural degeneracy leading to the deaths of a certain forty-two percent. That's also point six percent. What? Check out Corpse God's new song Clown World. Keep up the good work, bud. Okay, thank you. Hertu says Hot Wheels had been screaming harassment from his association with HN, despite him bending the knee. Rewarded as the traitor deserves. I think Dame would probably agree with that. Um, let's see. Yeah, fucking traitor, fucking. Traitor deserves yeah. stairs. Oh. <laughs> imagine, imagine being so scared of Brianna Wu that you completely throw everything that you've ever created in your entire life away just to go after that one fucking website. Like even so, like Josh doesn't like Jim Watkins, but even Josh is at this point like, dude, Hot Wheels, just let it fucking so go. I, yeah, actually, I want to get him back on because we had him on in August with Josh, and I thought that was like right after the El Paso stuff and all that. Um, so I thought that was a pretty big show. But, you know, the, the position he was taking then is a lot different than what he's, you know, how he's positioning himself now which is just outright stomp out 8chan completely no matter what. On that show, he was saying, well, you know, if they did this, did that, you know, I don't necessarily have a problem. They just haven't been running it right. Their PR is wrong and stuff like that. He, he seems to have completely uh, kind of changed position since, even since August, even from August to September, and especially now in November, uh, he's, he's, uh, he's very stridently... Uh, against HN. Uh, let's see. Murray Murdizzle says, Tell Masterson I sent him a message on Twitter. I run telemarketing rooms, and I have a couple of, couple of solid merchants, one who we've been using for almost a decade now. We've been shut down by a dozen others, but this one doesn't give a shit. All right, I'll keep that. I'll, I'll tell him about that. Hyphen says, Ranbot cucking to Ralph by not talking 80% of the time. 
Mug. <laughs> All right. Well, let me let me fix that because I've only got 18 minutes before I've got a hard out. Oh, Mug Rannies at Ranny says mods are great people. By the way, he didn't say great people though. Uh, Critical says Goose Wayne is 100% a troll. Started on Instagram for clout off Joker 305. Here's proof it ever existed. Chat will love it. I don't have that, but I'll look in the in the media. I like Goose Wayne. I just Critical DMG. Yeah, he's a nice guy. Yeah, he's a nice guy. Critical DMG says. Our dog severely injured his back, paralyzing from his waist down. It's absolutely heartbreaking to see him like this, energetic to dragging his back legs in an instant again with a small injury. Any help is appreciated. I think that they sent me a go for me. I think it's time for that that car ride where one less person comes back from no, the vet to be quite honest. Man, oh. No, no, come on. I mean, the man's not wrong. Uh, Still sad though. Oh, it is sad. Come back a little lighter. Is that what you're? Uh, yeah, uh, a little lighter. That's what he's saying, Ralph. Oh, that's that's distressing. I gotta say, uh, Shin Shin Jinping. I'm just. Says, why am I the monster? I'm just saying. Everyone was thinking it. Shin Jin, Jinping says, "My name is Ethan Ralph, and I endorse the mobile game Azur Lane." Uh, we also have <laughs> Spanish. That's a cheap, that's cheap buy right there. God damn. Not, uh, not Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> Spanish Inquisition gifted 10 subscriptions. Psycho Dad says, we got the crew back. Are we ready to start Gamergate 2.0? Yeah, I'm sure. Vegeta Fajita says, waiting for the <laughs> Bibble versus Jim Bloodsport. Reno Miles says. It just happened. Did you hear? Did, yeah, I, I, I just lost. Yeah, it was, yeah. It was it's sweet. 112 to 0. Brutal. Reno Miles says NBA wants on. He said duck. Reno Miles then says, I want to give Nikki props for shouting at NBA. Uh, yeah. The best part of that stream was actually Nick screaming at NBA when you finally when you just put him in his place and he, he got really quiet. Like he just completely you sunned him to use a term from the streets. You, you sunned him. He was just sitting there like, yes, sir. Oh, sorry, sir. I'm sorry, sir. He got real quiet. Didn't say shit. Oh, man. It was it was bad for him. I mean, it was great well, for I'm, me and you. I'm glad you enjoyed it. <laughs> <laughs> it was great for me and you. For him, it wasn't great. But... Uh, let's see. The Otaku King says, "Ralph, you just got to get you just got to get that whip out and all that all that back talk uh, comes to an end, doesn't it?" Oh, oh come no, on no, now. No, disavow. <laughs> completely, completely disavow. The Otaku King says, "Ralph, what do you want for Christmas?" I don't know. I haven't put uh, a lot of thought in it. Uh, I'm going to have a nice Christmas though. Clifford T. Clavin uh, with the salute and then he says, "Nikki Rackets, come down to Tarrant County Best Barbecue." I have a feeling I'll be back down there before too long. <laughs> One way or another. Now, uh, I know, I know your, Texas, audience correct? Isn't, your audience isn't huge on the Vic stuff, but for the few out there, I yeah, think... Yeah, uh, I think... You may be underestimating. Uh, quite a, there's quite a, lot a lot of, of them follow it, yeah. Yeah, well, I never want to presume. I never want sure. to presume. But but there's, uh, there's probably going to be some interesting stuff coming out of that next week. Um, so there... Uh, I'd say stay tuned uh, to that one. That's that's the little teaser. But um, I'm I'm remaining cautious on overhyping it. But but uh, I have a feeling we're gonna see some fireworks coming out next week. So. Rebels Rebel Salt says, "Ask Jim, is yeah. there still any mm -hmm. bad blood with Josh?" I uh, love Israel Josh. and the Jew. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, Josh from Kiwi Farms. No, there's no bad blood. Yeah, I wasn't aware there was any. Uh -uh. In the I, I, yeah, I guess I don't know where it started. <laughs> yeah, I, was like, <laughs> <laughs> I think I, 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 I think like people were thinking that he was really serious when he was uh, going off about you monetizing like shirts and stuff. Oh, I I because I love Israel and I, the Jews. I do. I do. I do <laughs> love Israel and the Jews. <laughs> no oh all right let's, let's oh, i've got that i've got to do it i've got to do a, a follow-up here um Go so ahead. i was under the impression that um that that dog in question was uh was permanently paralyzed uh critical in the chat said rand you can't 
which is just like saying hello in Australia. I've spent uh, I've spent two weeks uh, getting him to walk again. He wants to run and play though. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought he was oh. permanently paralyzed. Wow. I didn't know what talking about. <laughs> if, if it's just an injury, no. Why he's are you saying to take that? Man, you wanted to goodbye. have the dog put down and he could still run. There oh. goes Rand killing healthy dogs. What the fuck? Yeah, that, that's Ian Alex Malshan. Jones' job. You gotta, gotta cut <laughs> yes. down on the carbon. No wonder Ian Malshong Jr. over here. Oh my god. <laughs> <sighs> Pepto Bismol, you're on the kill stream. Go ahead. Hello, all my N words. Hello. Uh, well, at first I wanted to give Jim a couple slash extreme suggestions, but I don't want him ending up with two bullets to the back of the head. Oh. Uh, so instead. <laughs> Instead, I'm gonna show this vodka I bought yesterday that tastes like mm. fucking Lucky Charms marshmallows. Tell me it's what. called uh, <laughs> Buttered Popcorn Flavored Vodka by 360 Vodka, and it is delicious. It's real how good. Long, uh, how long have you worked for the company? <laughs> um, I, I just started actually. Did yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, getting, getting out there, getting the word out. <laughs> exactly. You know, they started, they started me on something easy. You know, getting all the, the kites and the Jews on. No, board. no, wait a minute, sir. <laughs> <laughs> no, come on. I love Israel and the Jews. Pepto, thank you. I do you. love Israel. Pepto, I appreciate and you. The arguably the most pro Israel stream on the internet. The right? number one late night stream in Israel, the Ralph Retort Kill Stream. He was just talking about flying. He was just talking guys. about kite flying. He's just had a little bit too much butter flavored uh, vodka there. Something yeah. happened. I'm not sure, but of course we we disavow. All right, let's take another caller. Let's see who it could be. Smirnoff, go ahead. You're on the kill stream. Damn, that Sargon is one sick individual. You know what I heard he said on his server? What did he say? What's that? He uh, likes children. He's gone. <laughs> no. It's a question. He it's left. Question. I thought he was about to spill the beans. Oh my he god. He was the guy who linked me the uh the, the Gorka clip, by the way. Oh, uh, he was finally about to spill the beans, but I guess that's not gonna Oh happen by the now. way, talking about cogs and all, uh, have you played this clip of Destiny that I put on the <laughs> what? Show link? Hold on. A clip of Destiny. Oh boy! It's a big oh, yeah. an argument. Oh wait! Did you play that already on your show? Oh, Destiny saying he's. Yeah, you gotta scroll cut? back up a little bit. Is that the one? <sighs> yes. Destiny saying he's. Speaking. A cut? Is that what you're talking about? Okay. Speaking of um, speaking of Destiny, yeah, I was, I was delighted way. that Meringue Bad um went and cut in that little bit where I destroyed Destiny in a debate with uh, one one sentence back in the streamy days. All right, let me put it uh, in the in the hangout chat. Oh, shit. Let me paste it again, because I think I fucked it up. All right, there we go. All right. There it is in the Hangout. No, I haven't played this, but if you're requesting it, of course I will play it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, the context is that he fought his black friend over his usage, usage of the N-word. Yeah, oh, we, we did this, didn't we? We did talk argument. about this. Yeah, we did talk about this. Um, they ended up breaking up, breaking up their podcast, and uh, Destiny's been on a jihad mm. against them, kind of. Yeah. Well, it's really funny though that this individual right here, who's uh, spurking out about his like private usage of the N word, uh, he was banned from uh, uh, either AG, one of the one of the games done quick events for uh, saying the saying figot, essentially. Figot. All right, let's go ahead. We, we, so, how much of this should I play, Dommy? Like a minute or two is on the... Okay. All right. So oh, it's timestamped. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm at 7.30 right now. That's why I'm yeah, asking. Yeah, 7.30. Okay. Yes. All right. You guys ready? Yep. Yep. Uh, uh, yeah, yes. uh, did you drop this for the on-air crew? I'm I did. still looking at Sargon getting hit yeah, with Yeah, it's up on show links. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, it's yeah. up a little bit. I'll put it, I'll put it down. <sighs> there you go. There you go. Okay. There you thank you. Go. You got to pay attention. No, I don't. It's like, you know, <laughs> <laughs> it's just this Chilean just putting shit everywhere. Come on, Rand. Stay on the ball, dude. Yeah, yeah, Come hey. on. Look, no, I don't look like, like Chileans, you know, that are a little bit hit or miss. You know, ball. that'll be Come four on. cents more. So, well, now no. I've said fire to all metropolitan Come transport. We have a like superior that? Chilean here. Come on, let's go. You ready? 7.30. I'm ready. All right, right now. And we're to the Like, there are things that I can do to try to maintain friendship with somebody. But, like, 
I'm in a poly relationship. The reason what? why I'm in a poly relationship <laughs> is because no! I don't give a fuck what? if my girlfriend goes and fucks another oh. guy because I know she's coming back to me at the end of the night. Because oh, <laughs> I'm a no! close fucking person. Yeah, yeah that's what she's telling you, Tiny. Gonna, if I'm not going to gatekeep the fuck out of who my girlfriend fucks, do you think I'm going to chase you around? Do you think I'm going to chase you around and see who the fuck you talk to? <laughs> what? It is so hard for you to no think that I'm not wrong. racist because you've got people like Hassan whispering in your ear. I don't have to stop N saying the N-word. My he girlfriend fucks straight. Of, like, using it as a pejorative, not like you're being funny, to get keep the pussy. Like, like, yeah, that's like you're pretty much it, by the way. You're saying, you are an N-word with a hard R. Haha. -ha. I mean, does it... Oh, man. So, 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 instead of the switch, the bull lets him keep the N-word pass. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Do you think that's progressive, Nick? Yeah. What do you think of that stance? Just letting your girl just fuck whoever she wants. And... Oh, and... yeah. that's She's definitely yours at that point. Less right? stressful that way, though, right? <laughs> just, just a little bit. <laughs> she comes back. <laughs> that's what you She that's comes you back play. every night. She comes back every night because he's paying for her cell phone and giving her a place to live. But she actually <laughs> loves him, of course. It's nothing like that. Yeah, Do and think... uh, I, I wonder if she's ever tired at, when she comes home from work <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, no, uh, cuckoldry is not acceptable. Ever. <laughs> that's all I have to say about it. I think that's a few I make dignity question. at least. Go ahead, Bibble. No, I just slipped, I just slipped over right. when I went to the kitchen again, but at least I can say the N-word. Hey, Nick, I think you finally found somebody for that stream with Drexel. Oh my god, if I could get Destiny and Drexel on a stream. <laughs> <laughs> now, is, this it, is, a new is it clip. possible he defends well, wouldn't, wouldn't Drexel it? say, I'm going to fuck your god girlfriend, you still can't call me the end with? Don't yeah, I'll just, start. I'll just, uh... Wait, 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 wait. Go ahead, Bibble. Go ahead. Do you think he, he defends the N word so, so, uh, so harshly because he uh he's had too many tyrones you know over and his girlfriend <laughs> yeah. he's told him to sleep on the couch too many times is that why he's like i don't have That's anything like else to say it. look he wants he, he wants to watch from out. inside the bedroom instead of outside the bedroom that's all um <laughs> Yeah, I'll I'll call Drexel and ask him if he can relay through Destiny's girlfriend the message that I'd like Destiny on the show. We'll, we'll see how that goes. It'll go through. Reno, Reno oh. Mall says, Bibble, stop interrupting Rand. Clifford C. Clavin just resubbed for a month. He's on a three month streak. Then he donated some diamonds. Spanish Inquisition says, Critical, send me the GFM for Doggo. Uh, Agent Smirnoff, yeah, send that to me too, by the way, because I lost it. Agent Smirnoff says, Sargon said not enough cookies were baked in. Agent Smirnoff says, in the cookie cost, just disgusting. Reno Mall says, now wait a minute, Destiny, no. All right, let's roll to these callers. We'll finish up. Uh, Rising see. White says, clean up crew, Destiny. <laughs> Grand Inquisitor, you're on one. Inquisitor, you're on the kill stream, go. Oh, uh, hello, Ralph. You sound ex absolutely exuberant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell. It's Go been ahead. a good stream so far. Thank you. Uh, yeah. I think chat has some kind words for uh, the mods, especially Monday Matt. Do they? I'm sure they do. We'll just, we'll just have to imagine it. But go ahead. Go ahead with your statement. <laughs> what? Go ahead Sorry. with your statement. You're speaking over me. <laughs> Oh, I just needed to say that. Uh, All right. Shout out to the mods. We love the mods. That's what you wanted to say. Thank out. you. <laughs> Rabbi Shekels, you're on the kill stream. Go. Who is all your guys' favorite banks, and why is it Israel? Thank you, sir. Ah. I love uh, Israel and the Jews. I do. <laughs> it's true. He does. I mean, it's how, the truth. How it's could on you go tape. Wrong? I can't deny it. How could you go wrong with that? All right, let's take another caller. Kropotkin, you're on the kill stream. Go ahead. Um, fuck. Yeah, well. It'd be like that. Yeah. Oh, I, do. I know how it goes. Yeah. Fuck. Well, I appreciate the attempt, though. Thank no, you. No, no, no. I got it. I got it. I got it. I remembered. Oh, okay. So, um, you get ready for that 13th step in L.A., Ralph? The 13th. <laughs> My name is Ethan, and I want to suck Jim's cock. <laughs> Tonight's the night. 
Well, here you go, buddy. <laughs> I have to <laughs> open those open those lips, Ralph. That was your opportunity, Ralph. I have to, to I have to do that in Los Angeles. Disgusting. Okay. <laughs> 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 oh, thank you, caller. I hope you burn in hell. Thank you for calling in, though. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right, Viridian Cavalier, you're on the kill stream. Go ahead. Oh shit! That was it. Yep. Yes, uh, let's go. Thank God, finally. Um, Question for Jimmy and Nick is, I don't think they've ever heard me before. Her butt. Why do That's you wear the mask? Brittany, you're uh, breaking up a little bit. Yeah, it's being God. leaned a little closer to the mic. Let's go online. Okay. Oh, you can hear me now? Yes. Perfect. Yeah. From the sound of my voice, how old do you think I am? Uh, well, I'm gonna how old do you think? I'm gonna have to guess probably 40 or 50. I mean, after that role in Independence Day where you played the dad. <laughs> uh, no, the answer is very surprising to people. I'm only 22. How many cigarettes did you have to smoke to accomplish that? And what brand? Because I want that voice. <laughs> uh, uh, no, I've never touched cigarettes before. That's the thing. Uh, you should try it. <laughs> no, do not. Holy shit. Do not try smokes. It's 70% of normal capacity, so not my best interests. What uh, What happened, what? man? The, the the quickest way I can explain this story is basically I was born 24 weeks premature. The hospital I was taken to just recently got their neonatal intensive care unit. So I was there. Basically, the uh, breathing tube, they didn't anchor it properly. Is it true that you're actually Bane? <laughs> are you um, are you starting a revolution cared. against the rich? Is it? Can you confirm or deny that you were actually Bane from the comics? And that that's a real character. Oh, uh, Bane from the comics. Well, I wish I was. Bane's <laughs> fucking buff. <laughs> All right, go ahead, man. Real quick, finish. Uh, Jim, question: Have you been able to play Fire Emblem Three Houses yet? No, no, I love Israel and the Jews. <laughs> I gotta, I have to say that every couple of minutes, it's uh, part of the part of the deal. Yeah, yeah he's back down. They van us. Yeah, yeah. The only way he can not commit suicide after that stream, right? But um, Fire Emblem Three Houses. Have you played it? Oh uh, no, I haven't had a chance to yet. Actually, I was gonna do uh, Luigi's Mansion Three first. Ah. ah. Also equally good game. Also, before I go, I have a joke. Um, Sarga, God damn it! You, you should have brought me on early. I had it, but um, fuck, 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 fuck. You already uh, said the best joke ever. You said Sarga. He's checking up. He's getting. No, 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 no. Um, Sargon took a coat hanger to you, Kip, like Lucy took a coat hanger to Carl Jr. <laughs> oh, oh, no. No. Okay, that is my joke. I am going to go. Thank you for having me on. I'll Thank sunset you. myself. I completely disavow. I disavow. Now that's what I call dark mode. Oh, all right, that, Ralph. Before you before you bring on another caller, I've got to um, I've got to punch out. It's not actually for all those what? A-loggers out there. My son's birthday, but uh, I've got to go to my son's birthday. We're we're doing it on a different date from his actual birthday. It's a little oh, too close well, to Christmas. So I've got to go. I've got to go play with the Zergling now, and um, and and thank you very much for dragging me in half an hour after it started. That's all good. <laughs> I had to, I had to make sure you you were good. Thank you, Brand. We we don't have much longer to go anyway. A few more minutes, but thank you, Rand. I appreciate That's it. All right, yeah, take it easy. All right, well, you guys later, Rand. Well, what do you mean a few more minutes? This is a five-hour stream. That's what the chat said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. get out, Rand. Have a good weekend. <laughs> yes, they do really say that, don't they? <laughs> they do, they do. All right, peace out, gentlemen. Later, man. Uh, Terry yeah. Chester says all mods get the oven. Cliff Clifford T. Clavin with the Ninja Gini says shout out to Joe and Norm. Cynic in Chief says, Caller still sounds better than the Lemon Fuhrer. 
Uh, <laughs> Reno Mall says, Gator, how you doing, man? How you doing, Gator? Ethan Ralph, it's me, Gator. Oh, Holy is. shit, it's Gator. Holy shit. <laughs> Gator. It's actually, Gator. Death. Gator is on this call. It's death, real. death to a certain people says Logan Paul will sunset KSI plus his family. And then he says some other stuff that I won't repeat. Uh, but I am I am looking forward. I don't know what that fight's going to be like in the Staples Center, but I do know they're going to have actual professional boxing fights before that fight, too. So it won't be a complete waste of money. I will still have pretty good seats <laughs> to see decent actual fights. And then whatever happens with KSI, Logan Paul, uh, you know, we'll see. But at least there'll be decent fights before that. But, yes, I will be there a week from tomorrow. Uh, I don't know about this LA thing, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes next Ralph week. Ralph will be uh, present to watch the hate crime in person. Next time you hear me on the kill stream, <laughs> I will be in Los Angeles in Dick's studio. So uh, we'll we'll see how that goes. Spanish Inquisition says five hour stream also end out. Excuse me, with a certain anthem. Now I know I know exactly Ooh. how I want to end, and I, I know exactly what I want to end with. But uh, let me roll a few callers in before I do that. Uh, Kyler, you're on the kill stream. Go. Oh my Hello? God. Yes. Hey. What's going on, guys? Hey. Um, What's going on, man? What's Did we disturb you? What's happening? Uh, I was just eating the <laughs> all good. Uh, so anyway, I was thinking I had some stark, cold, ugly truths that your audience needs to hear. Is that right? In order of least shocking to, to most shocking, if you're ready. All right. Okay, number one, Victor Vagina, or whatever his name is, the anime guy is innocent. Uh, number Victor two, Victor Vagina. Uh, I don't think that was his name. Where the fuck his name is? Victor no, it's right. Like, That's... Like... <laughs> no, you had it right the first time. <laughs> That's Vic Nick Vagina, name. obviously. <laughs> um, number two is uh, Stereos Coconuts abuses women. Oh, three. Yeah, he does. Oh, uh, is that true? No. I think I got and, the story of that. One time I punched a hole through a door because I got mad. I was oh. drunk. An attractive ex of mine was oh, here pressuring me. Come on, it's I go, Don't go, right. Turner. I'll fight tonight. <laughs> if you treat me wrong, I will destroy you. As you can clearly hear, this man is an unhinged madman. Uh, I would not trust him around anyone, women or yes. people in general. Sounds like Ron Sawyer. Jesus Christ. Christ. Anyway, uh, number three, Monday Matt is an unabashed pedophile. Number oh, four. Yeah. <laughs> number four. <laughs> yes, I agree. <laughs> number four. Number four is allegedly I heard, not making a definitive statement, I heard that Tommy C pays little kids to pee on him at the public pool. So, oh, uh, yeah, no. those oh, thank you, Kyler. I, I appreciate it. I, that. I heard it. I did heard it somewhere. I'm not saying that happened. Oh, uh, Tommy, see, I don't know. Uh, thank you for calling in. All right, let's let's try to roll some more people in real quick. Ingress, you're on the kill stream, but you're muted, so you don't have long. You better hurry. You better hurry. Up, oh, still muted. Oh, man. Sorry. Can I just say, Nikki Rackets, are you sorry that you kept interrupting Rand when he was trying to talk? Yes. He had some really important <laughs> points to get out there, and you kind of just stepped all over him. I uh, I don't I actually unironically hate interrupting people. That's the you know, the do, nature actually. of not sitting face to face. That you just interrupt people all the time. Mm. I would much prefer to interrupt people face to face. Then I do it on purpose. Uh, huh. Let me take in. Let's see here. Uh, Hazen Cruz. Oh, but you're muted, sir. You need to unmute. Oh, there you go. Oh, there, there he go. goes. I he just wanted to honk the horn. Best the night. <laughs> that's, all, that's all he wanted to do was honk the horn. Oh, my God. Uh, let's He's see. got a slide whistle, too. Let's see. Uh, Shiggy Diggy, you're on the air, but you are also muted. Oh, and then he left. Shiggy Diggy, no. Yeah, I thought Nick, that's uh, that's all you guys did in court was just interrupt each other and pull out like evidence that hadn't been, you know, put into uh, put into record and all that kind of stuff. Is that not true? No, that well, so don't ask this to me like this is cross exam. Damn. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, well, that that and ask the court to take judicial notice that uh, opposing counsel is a giant weeping vagina. 
Yeah. Um, okay. That, that too, but yeah. <laughs> See, I don't, I don't know how it works because every time I've been in court, I've just been trying to think up my next lie. So I don't know. Don't worry, you're, you're basically a lawyer. <laughs> you made, you made it. <laughs> all, it all right, let's try a couple more. Chick, chicken sandwich, but you're muted. No, God, chicken sandwich. Come on. There you go. Sandwich. Well, Jesus Christ. Sandwich. You got me. Hold the fuck yeah. up. Yeah, there we go. Now? Yeah, what's wrong with you? You got me? Yeah. <laughs> what's wrong with you? Oh. Yeah, I got you. He left. Is that it? <laughs> Savage, what, what's going on here? I didn't even listen to the stream. He's afraid. Fashion He's going, go away. ahead. What? Hey, Ralph. No, yeah, go ahead quickly. Hey, uh... I just wanted to congratulate Bibble on all his extra free time after getting fired from his job. Wow. Yeah, we saw yesterday you were you were a principal allegedly, you know, and you got fired for questioning the Holocaust and now that's not true. I got fired because I said I couldn't confirm. Wait, <laughs> yeah, that's right. I mean, no, that's not me. That's not me. That's not oh, no, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, well, I will say, man, if it was you, I'd buy you a beer because that's just like 45 minutes from my house, bro, for real. Just say. Yeah. All right, guys. Y'all have a good night, man. Sunset. Thank man. you, Fashion Goy. I appreciate it. I ain't going to take up everybody's time because I know Nick's about to do a stream. Nick, are, are yeah, you man, doing I a stream gotta tonight? Run. Yeah, I gotta run. Yeah, I'm what? doing. Like two yeah. minutes from now. Yeah, I know gotta... exactly why I was about to get you off. What are you about to do the stream on, though? <laughs> Quickly, plug it. Quick, plug yeah. it. Uh, you can come check out my show. My wife's going to be on. We just saw Joker together earlier tonight, and uh, we're going to talk about that, yeah. some other stuff. And then if uh, if she takes off at some point in the show, I'll talk more about Nicholas Sandman, who just had uh, permission from the judge to move on to Discovery against uh, the Washington Post, which is crazy because his case oh, was shit. dismissed, but they reopened it. So, very uh, good. Your wife's awesome yeah. too. Yeah, that's fucking and wonderful. So that's cool. You guys have a good one. Thank you, Nick. I appreciate you joining us, man. Yeah, thanks, man. Have a good night. All right, you too, Jim. Okay. What are you gonna be up to soon? Oh shit, I don't know. I'm gonna be playing a lot of fucking uh, <laughs> Luigi's Mansion Three. I know it's exciting, isn't it? That's have you played plan. some already? Because I thought about getting it, and I have so many. I went and bought a GameCube the other day, and I've been playing some retro stuff, and then Outer Worlds as well uh, have you played it any yet or are you just no, i i just picked it up this morning i haven't even had a chance to play okay. it yet but uh, i like the series so uh, i'm gonna be doing that like a dork uh, like a fucking nerd that i am so that's what I'm. yeah somebody up. actually sent me luigi's Mansion, the original on gamecube oh it's a good uh, game yeah which i thought about playing that so maybe oh you know I'll... yeah it's really good you should check it out man yeah maybe i should play that first thank you jim i appreciate you coming back on man oh and, 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 and jim real Real quick before you what? go, I have to do my uh, my my duty to the uh, to the Merchants Guild. Uh, people <laughs> have constantly asked you to watch uh, Seth Sintach. If you like uh, ER's video reviews on uh, different movies and uh, TV series and stuff, he's like that for video games, and he's fantastic. No, I know. Yeah, he's got good videos. Okay, good. You have watched some Seth's of the videos. money. <laughs> I, 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 I had to do my duty as a member of, of course of the he knows I, come on of course he knows but yeah thank you man i, I appreciate you coming to, on i just oh, wanted more. to say jim yeah jim if you uh if you ever want to try again you know where i'm, I'm at coming, i'm coming to that rematch yeah <laughs> oh, it's gonna happen i'm gonna take that i'm gonna come at the king back. you come right. at the king you best not miss all right take it easy <laughs> later jim have a good one <laughs> have a good one <laughs> okay, let's see here. I think that's it. Let me read through. Uh, a horrible gamer says Antifa bragged about giving kids fentanyl for something. For something. That wouldn't surprise me. Oh, Spanish. Halloween? Spanish like, was it? Yeah, for hollow. It says for hollow, but it says holo instead of hollow, but whatever. Spanish like, position gifted a one month subscription to Metal Slug. Let's see. So and so says Chang knows that Mike Enoch is a so and so. Call him out. Kiosk Man says. Uh, sunset the mods. Uh, it says some other Jeez. stuff, but I can't. Uh, I can't read. Reno Miles says Nikki Rackets is such a Chad. Wowbagger says honk honk. Ecstasy of thinking says fuck you, Jim. I love you, but the finder scares me. Reno Miles says we want Jim versus Ethan. Ethan Thanksgiving game off. Uh, we will. 
I don't know. If he's up for it, sooner or later, I would like to have a rematch of some sort. <laughs> oh, boy. Here comes Owen 14. <laughs> of some sort, I would like it. Spanish Inquisition. No, come on, Gator. Wow. Come on, man. You're going to do me like that? You're not going to give me any kind of support? Come Look, on, Look, man. Dude. I'm just going by the Vegas odds here. Gator, come on, <laughs> this man. what the odds makers tell me. Come on, I just man. want blood. The odds say that I will Ralph, do better than I love your gunt. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Donnie. How are you even still alive? What's going on in your country? Well, that's why, you know what? That's what was. I meant to ask you. No, that's what I meant to ask you. What's going on in Chile? Oh, People are sticking are. dildos it's up their ass. Are. And my, yeah, basically a civil war is going on. Uh, What's happening down yeah. there? Oh, there's a big, uh, basically like a coup. A bunch of political parties, the Communist Party and the Progressive Party, or like Puente Alto or whatever. They want power, right? So they organize this mysterious protest where mysteriously buildings <laughs> started to fucking go on fire as if it was pre-planned. The media uh, falsely re reported as it's a, a mystery. Continuous like, protest. Yeah, yeah, it's all it's a coincidence. coincidence. It's a mystery. Yeah, and now we have our queer president. Uh, I love queers and homosexuals. Yes, yes. our queer president giving all to these parties. Uh, disgusting. I saw a no. uh, I saw a screenshot with a guy with a dildo up his ass there down the main Chilean street there. I heard yeah, in Chile to. Uh, because everything's getting so bad, people are trying to hide their money, and people are actually having to take diamonds and eat them, and then shit them out, and then eat them. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> That's a little far-fetched. I don't think wow. anybody would ever do that. Is that, that true? It's 100% true. It's true. See, this yeah, is what the helicopter My money's for. safe, people. Yeah, you need, Dame, you need to channel Uncle Augusto and, uh, and fix some of these problems. I think you're the one to do it. Yes, you have to kill the communist. <laughs> Go fund me. <laughs> Tell my face on the helicopter. <laughs> uh, They're forcing my hand. Let's see. Wowbagger says honk honk. Ecstasy of thinking. I read that one. Let me see. I read that one. Spanish Inquisition says do it, chat. Sunset me. By the way, shout out to Spanish. Uh, gifted a lot of uh, subscriptions tonight. Thank you for that. Pensive Cowboy says buildings going mysteriously. Any dancing nearby? I'm sure there's mm. no dancing. Oh, evade. Did you see any, like, yeah, did you see any dancers near the building? No, nah, it's not. By the way, if you look at the screen, any, uh... you're actually looking at killstream.live. That's the new website for the killstream. Uh, I don't have much on oh, there yeah. as of yet. Uh, I'm going to be adding some stuff over the next few days. Uh, but it does have all the podcasts over on the right. It has the latest episode on BitChute over on the left. You know, all the links uh, that you might need for the show. I'm going to add some recaps and some writing and some other stuff over on the website. Uh, but there it is, killstream.love. I will uh, show that there. And who knows? It's good well, to set yep. up the website. Who knows? One day might be streaming from killstream.love. That's another reason I went ahead and got that. <laughs> That's another reason I went ahead and got that URL because I'm looking towards the future. You never know. L obviously, we, we're, we're lucky to be here on DLOV, but you never know. Uh, so killstream.live uh, will be the be the hub there. Uh, so, yeah, go ahead. Who was going to talk there? Oh, no, I, I think I figured out also what Bronx was doing in here because he, uh, he stopped trying after Dick left. So you think oh. he was uh, trying to run a victory lap on this? I don't know what was happening that, with uh, Bronx because we tried to bring him in a couple times and he just – it didn't work, so... Well, he is retarded, so, you know, I mean, there's that. <laughs> I don't well, he know. He tried to claim that he was somehow behind Henrik getting deplatformed, but nobody buys that. It was the yeah. ADL and the SPLC. That was that was it. Especially the ADL. Yeah, that shit, I don't know. I don't know what Bronx was up to. Uh, I do know he's had problems <laughs> with audio and Discord and all that, so maybe, but... Yeah, it was, it was a little strange. It is flu season after all, so he's got some uh, bigger problems coming up. We want Bronx to live. Oh, come on. We want him to live a long and healthy life. Uh, I'm thinking, I'm wow. trying to think. Uh, <laughs> I really don't have anything else except that uh, on Monday I will be in Los Angeles, California for the next kill stream. Also, the Discord's off. 
There we go. Okay, it's updated. Uh, so that's that's it. I mean, I got a lot of traveling to do. I actually have a bus ride that I'm taking up to the Northern Virginia area because I didn't want to drive my car up there and then pay for all that parking. So I'm taking a bus trip that's like three hours uh, up there. Then I'm going to catch the flight to L.A. Then I'll be in L.A. on Monday, uh, I guess, uh, sometime in the afternoon, Eastern time. Uh, so it should be it should be quite the experience, uh, and I'm ready for that to happen. Pensive Cowboy in the Lino chat says, Pause blogger dies of a certain disease live on stream. Um, I do think the... The audience might actually enjoy that, yeah. But uh, so yeah, we'll see what happens in LA next week. Not just the audience. We we have Dick Masterson, of course. I'll be at his house. Nick Fuentes is calling in one day. We're gonna try to set up some other stuff during the week. Uh, I feel like we had a pretty uh, fire program tonight. We had Medicare. He hasn't been on here um, since what the end of January. I think it was January twenty third or something like that. Um, and we had Nikki Rackets, we had Dick Masterson, we have, of course, the one and only Dame Pesos, the king of Fridays, the Killstream king of Fridays, Dame Pesos. We had him as well. Yes, I am great. <laughs> you are great, exactly. <laughs> and uh, I feel like we, we had a pretty Those good program here. Mr. Medicare. Ethan Ralph, it's me, Medicare. It's yes, Medicare. He came yes, back. The saddest yes. part is the Holocaust. He came, he came yes, back. that's very sad, Medicare. It, it, oh, it and I also want to shout out Full Blast Forever again uh, for the YouTube uh, reload up. He had like, I think, close to a thousand viewers also on YouTube. So Yeah, add check that. that. We, we had like two point something here on DLob and then another thousand on YouTube restream. So shout out to everybody watching there. Come over to D-Law. There's nothing to be scared about. You can come over here and watch, too. Uh, but that being said, I do know some people come have over, some... Come over, your watch hard. Yeah, watch come over hard. here and don't watch us fine. But I will say that I do know that there's some technical issues with D-Law, and some people, you know, have some problems like that, so I understand. Uh, but anyway, that's it. Bibble, dlive.tv slash Bibble, Randbot. I don't know where he's at, but... We love Rambot. <laughs> a free uh, cat or whatever. Yeah, every cat. Uh, let's see. Uh, Dame. Dame, what are you going to be doing soon? Oh, I'm going to have uh, muchos videos. And I'm going to also, muchos. I want to shout out the downvotes on Monday Mass YouTube channel. <laughs> Only if it's an honest opinion, you can give your honest opinion exactly. about Don't, Monday Mass yeah. on the Monday Mass well, YouTube Wait, videos. Dame, does it have to be about the video or can it be like a downvote saying that he's a, a flag? No, it has to be, no, it has to be oh, your honest opinion. It has no, to be honest. No. No, well, no, I honestly hard. think that he's a, a, a fat flagget. <laughs> no, we only support honesty. honest. No, yeah. being honest. No, being honest. I need to honest honestly opinion. believe it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Dame you Pesos. You appreciate the honesty. <laughs> 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 Dame, thank you once again. Gator, uh, dlive.tv slash Gator, the Gator Gamer, over on YouTube and on Twitter as well. Uh, Gator, thank you, man. As always, buddy. Uh, Bibble, thank you as well, sir. Thank you. Flamenco, thank you. Yeah, I'll be uh, I'll be streaming after this on uh, DLive.tv. I knew it! And, I knew uh, you would be! <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, I'm going to be playing some more Darkest Dungeon. In, uh, ah, my, go my, watch him. Go watch him. My D guys are going to keep mode. on dying. Darkest yeah. Mode, DLive.tv. Bibble, Dame. Thank you, sir. Play something. Hit something before I before I cut you guys off. Yes. Thank Medicare. Yeah, thank, thank Medicare. Yes, thank, thank you. Medicare, thank you. Ralph. Thank you, Jim. I appreciate you. Oh, I, I love your gut. <laughs> thank you. Oh, that was a nice thing thank for you. you to say. Gut. Thank you. Oh, thank wait, you, guys. What? I appreciate I you coming me. on. I appreciate you coming on the kill stream. <sighs> That's it. That's it! That's it. The next time you hear my voice, I will be in Los Angeles, motherfucking California, United States of America. That's it. Let's hit him with the throwback. Uh-oh. Should we hit him with the throwback? Can I even find it? Oh, I can find it. Can I? Oh, I can find it. Can I? This is it. One year gone. They said we were dead. They said we were through. We topped. 2000 tonight you know it i know it 
they're going to know it eventually. You cannot fucking abort the retort. I'll see you guys on Monday live from Los Angeles, California. Farewell.